Also, I really wanted to play demos today, and the problem is, I really wanted to play CK3. <laughs> I really, 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 really wanted to play CK3, because I'm all about this run. I'm all about it. Um, we just... We just inherited a new king. I did nothing much, actually. We still have to do everything for him. <laughs> CK3 is great. Yeah, I know, so I'm not really seeing too much of a problem with this either, except it's next fest week too. <sighs> I want to play everything and it's a problem. <laughs> so we have a new heir. We are King Totodile and a Darigson. So we have basically, because we have... Okay set up a Scandinavian elective in both the Kingdom of Denmark and the Kingdom of Norway. We elect our ruler. We don't really necessarily do it by... What's... Am I thinking primogeniture? No. When, you're, when your son inherits... Primogenitor? I don't know. Anyways, so partition. So we're not we're not totally living up to that. Instead of going with one of an innocent bystander's sons, we actually kind of just jumped all the way over here to a different member of the family. Remember, Kenna de Rigged died from her wounds in nine thirty five. Well. We are now playing as her son. I decided to go for King Totodile because he's a genius, he's a giant, and he's got a lot of kids that we kind of need to sort out. <laughs> but we don't have to worry so much about him having multiple male children because we have the elective in place. So he's 53. He's just awesome, so I, I don't know. I wanted to play as King Totodile. So here we are. I have to kind of go through the process of breaking everybody up because the AI picked some bad choices for marriages. Partition or elective are the current options. Well, okay, we're doing elective. We did lose the land over here in England, which I don't really care too much about, to be honest. Now I'm realizing I should have given Hordadile this land over here. Because now I have the the Uplon Duchy again, don't I? <laughs> I do. And I lost... I lost this duchy. So I still have two duchies, but I lost the, the good one. I lost two good ones, actually. Ducks. Well, it's okay. We still managed to keep the entire realm together, which I think was pretty good. Scarlet was the first son of our past leader, and over here and on England's side of things, we still do partition. So there was there was no stopping Scarlet from taking that. But it's okay, because we have to take over the entirety of England. I only care about the kingdom title, not so much the duchy or these smaller counties. So... Oh, we just gotta get everybody to like us. Look at that. I have nobody on my council. Well, he really hates me. <laughs> Opinion of predecessor. Negative 45. Applies to me as well. I didn't realize it like was a one for one. Use duchy tape. Oh, I think I can turn off my Tuesday camera. Every 22 minutes that can be redeemed. Okay, let's assign Jarl Bothvar. That's all gone in five years? Was it? This is a powerful vassal with a lower opinion of me because they are not on my council.
He just has way better stewardship. 26 to year 21. Not like 21's bad anyway. Let's just let it happen. So I'm less likely to be overthrown. We can always take them off the council later, right? My spy master is an important... Ooh, perfect. I love it when the person who wants to be on the council is good at their job. <laughs> so we're probably going to want to bribe this guy. What are my traits? We are arbitrary, brave, and lazy. Fun. Not greedy, though. It is nice having competent vassals. Yes, agreed. <laughs> Isn't the point of being a king to be overthrown? <laughs> Get out of here! The truth can marry. Yeah, so I kind of want to just, like, know. I kind of just want to systematically break everybody up. Look at that, I have three concubines. I don't- I don't like having concubines because I make more children. How am I today? <sighs> I had some technical difficulties to start the stream. It took me like an hour to sort out. I had to restart my stream too. And it was really stressful. And I'm fine. <laughs> totally fine! How are you today? What is my prowess? 40! Goodness. Okay, yeah. Nice. Let's get control growth. Authority focus. We're going to work towards, I suppose, Gallant. Which you cannot see. We're going to work towards this. We only have three more points left till we unlock it, so you may as well go for it. We're Lord Farquaad and we're feeling fine. We <laughs> Lord Farquaad is short. King Totodile is like the very opposite. He's too tall. He doesn't even fit in the frame. Look at that. He's missing his half of his arms and the top of his head. Never seen 40. I had my last ruler was 46 or something. We are actually feeling fine. He's Lord Nearquad. I guess he could be. Now we have to choose an heir. Everybody looks the same with those helmets on. Invincible legendary Shinkick son. I would like to arrange them by age. I can't. I cannot arrange them by age. My son, Everard. Ev Everard. Everard. He's a berserker. He's beautiful. He's intelligent. He's a giant. People will like him because of these things. Maybe. Too fresh in chat. Too fresh, yeah. You can't be pungent right away. My grandson at my court. Can I rename you? Ah, nope. Yep, 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 yep. I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Everett's not a bad option for my heir. Mortal intern number two. She's really decent, but what are the chances that anyone's going to. Her son's in jail. What are the chances that anyone's going to let her rule? They probably won't, right? So what about Everd? I'm going to cast my vote for Everd. He's now my player heir for the Kingdom of Norway. He's Saxon too! Dang, my whole family's Saxon! I need to change everybody back. And so for the Kingdom of Norway, I would also like... Sorry, Denmark. I would like to cast my vote for Everd. My voting strength is one. <laughs> okay, let's send everybody gifts. You know, improve some relations. 
Just right on down the board. Bribe everybody. The whole kingdom. Or realm, I should say. So, yeah, here we go. I think we're ready to hit play. Everybody's been renamed. We chose our lifestyle. We fixed the... Oh, wait. Nope. Need to take a look at my army. I have 20 out of 18 champions. Does that work out? All right, 18 out of 18. A lot of people were forbidden because of their relationship to the previous king. Their effectiveness is 295%. That seems high. <laughs> okay. So, first thing we need to do, our most immediate thing on the agenda today, is... dig ourselves out of the prestige hole. And you know, I might actually just mark this spot right here as the place to start the, the YouTube video from. Right here, future me, okay? And then I can be like, in case you're watching this, we went through and renamed the entire dynasty. It took forever. Everyone's renamed with weird names. So the first objective is to dig ourselves out of the prestige hole. We're at negative 800. There's no war for us, Nos Nos, because we need a positive prestige to declare war. <laughs> and then we need to make moves on England. And, you know, just for funsies, if we wanted to, we could also go for this holy site. County of Potterborn. Uh, Paterborn. Are we aiming to take over the whole map, or is there another goal? No, just England. I am working on... Oh, and we can't forget the... <gasps> Wait a second. Okay. Dig ourselves out of the prestige hole. Convert back... To Norse. Because I'm Saxon. I need to convert back to Norse. But I can't do that yet. Because I need, like, tons of prestige. I, I need to adopt the Norse culture. This was, like, one character that I... Just... I had his guardian... Invert his culture, and then I regretted it ever since that day. And also, found a witch coven. There are a lot. At least one of these. Oh. I see, at least we need 60% of our house to be a witch. The thing is, our previous ruler converted a lot of people. So, Totodao just doesn't know about it, and I don't know if there's a way to be like, Hello, can everybody who's a witch in the family raise your hand? So we're just gonna have to go through and... ...vert to witchcraft, and like, I'm fairly certain... Actually, I might start at the top. I may start at the top here. Like, Legendary Shinkick, I'm pretty sure, is a witch. 5%. 5%? Why is it so... I mean, I'm fairly certain that... He's already a witch, so the fact that it's only a 5% chance of failure should be fine. I think the biggest issue is the secrecy thing. Right, it appears to be that it is only at 52%. My More my vassal! My vassal! Everybody is my vassal! Everybody is my vassal! And a crayon! Thank you so much for gifting five subs to the community! That's really, really Ooh. sweet of you! Wait, it didn't... Okay. All I see is five subs to the community. Thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Welcome, Mumblepug, Potence Draco, Conran, Kiwi Wonder, and Neabum. Really, really sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, 
was, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for lurking. I super appreciate it. Bum, bum. No, I don't think mom got sniped. It's okay. No, it says Anacron is continuing the gift sub they got. So thank you also for continuing the gift sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Please enjoy the emotes. And thanks for keeping the stream open. Really sweet of you. Okay. Step one. Make everybody like us. So, here's the thing. I have... Oh, wow. Okay. Drogo did not end up in bread. My daughter-in-law has given birth to a son. So, Goswin... Goswin is the child of our current ruler, Totodile. I took a risk... a few streams ago when I married Totodile to Queen and child number two. And they were really closely related, but the reason I did so is because she's beautiful, he's a genius and a giant, and I figured they would have awesome kids. And they did! Except Goswin. <laughs> Except poor Goswin. Goswin did not win the genetic lottery, like I was saying. So, he has had two children. They are inbred twins. And then his third child, Drogo. Actually, doing okay. Courtesy of Tom Drogo, your new name is Raffle Name. <laughs> Yes, we're just going to use all this money that we've... Okay, so this, is, this was much faster than I thought. The reveal! My cousin, Chieftain Scarlet, is not in his bed as I sneak through his window. On my mission from Freya, where would... Who is that? I twist around to find Chieftain Scarlet crouched over a pentagram on the floor. <laughs> ah, and it proves their opinion of me, too. So, yeah, we can just... We can kind of just... Go through the dynasty tree? Let's start from the top. Let's start from the top, and then just keep moving down rows. The legendary Shinkik, I feel, is already a... witch, too. It goes fast, yeah. I think that we're just gonna... Alliance expired. Because... I got rid of a betrothal. Get a lot of... Opinion from giving people money. Hi, Anubis! How am I feeling? I'm feeling great. Minus the... Minus the technical difficulties I had today. Do I have a perk or something that's giving me so much opinion from a sent gift? What was I saying? Oh, yes, I had technical difficulties at the start of the stream that were very annoying and stressful. But besides that... Besides that, it's been alright. I'm just gonna bribe everybody. The point of having all this money if I can't bribe everybody into liking me. How are you doing, Anubis? And hi, Infinity! Hello! Oh, All babies cry, but slander is fiend. But with little slander's fiend, there's no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries. Midwife? Midwife? Ease my worries, but her furrowed brow makes everything worse. Little lord is not gaining weight as he should. We will take good care of him, my lord, but in the end, his life is in Norn's hands. Oh, tickly. My spy master has come to me with grave news. Somebody is trying to kill Magnum P.I. Neighbors war resolved. Another faction has been created. Earl wants independence. 
Do you, Earl? Do you? That's actually not his name. That's his title. <laughs> I keep calling everyone who's an Earl, Earl. But he is Earl. Yeah, I don't know. A core physician. Whoa, Dice Cocoon. Whoa. Why? Yikes. Oh, speaking of, um, I have two children. Move guardian. Who's your guardian? Evered. Okay, I guess that's fine. What about... A little one? Where's Dice Cocoon on here? I don't know if I can search people this way. I don't think so. Dice Cocoon. Dice Cocoon, Dice Cocoon, Dice Cocoon, Dice Cocoon. Okay, what if I did it this way? Slanderous Fiend. Invert Culture. Dice Cocoon gained up to 15 opinion. I don't think so. This <laughs> is still negative 38. <laughs> Your message is being blocked. You're not sure why? I don't see it. But if, if it is, maybe it's swear words. I don't know. Normally I see what Automata is catching. How are we climbing out of this press, you told? I'm. We are going to host a feast. I lose stress and it raises everybody's opinions. The game is paused. We're also going to call a hunt. A cheery gathering. The guests are gathered in the hall. Lords and ladies from near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and the spirits are high as the feast begins. Yeah, big parties never fails. Clarion doesn't make it through Automod? Yeah, it, it might have just been caught. My lord, the wine we cracked open the next barrel has all gone bad. I feel like this event happens every time. Let's take... So we can... Get more wine from the wine merchant for 75 gold. Bot Thirst gives us plus 0.5 prestige per month, which is very helpful. And every guest gains plus 10 opinion. I know, the wine is always bad. You have the mouth of a sailor sometimes, that's probably why. Yeah, I do have a, like, a lot of things just caught, so they won't get sent. That's probably what happened. What right does Adelaide think she has to claim that my ideas of warfare are misguided? Claiming that my ideas would break down the moment combat is meant, what does she... Bet. What does she know, really? Gain discussion of strategy. At least Ad Adelheide. Did I call her Adelaide? Adelheide showed you she's able to defend your understanding of the martial lifestyle. You were able to defend your. <laughs> what are words even? Thanks for the plus two marshal. Adelheide for- oh, for Maldehyde. Maybe we should just call her Adelaide. Wow, I gave him 100 gold for tw plus 27 opinion and it's still negative 100. Cultural acceptance minus 26%. Yeah, I really need to convert to, I think, Norse culture. With everyone headed home for their respective homes. Can't words today. <laughs> I'm proud to say this feast was a success. I have my wife, child number two, to thank. Until next time, plus 150 prestige. All right, up next, 
Let's call a hunt! Found the horn! I have a horn right here. <laughs> Words is hard. A little bit. The woods truly are the mantle of the poor, but as the heart flees in panic from foraging peasants, I feel my patience wearing thin. There surely must be better things to do in Vorbas than picking roots and mushrooms. No, I think we want to aid the peasants, so we don't want to deny the peasants the forest, because that reduces our popular opinion. I think we want to keep our popular opinion higher. The higher the popular opinion we have, the better our vote count is in the elective, so... Let's do that. Was that a train whistle? <laughs> it is a train whistle. <laughs> I use it for hype trains. I also have a recording of it right here. <laughs> the hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the plains behind as the servants prepare the heart another game for the journey back. To heed, to heed the call of the wild is usually an adventure, and this outing truly delivered both good and the bad in overabundance. Look at that. Negative 318. I, I like it too. Yeah, I found this somewhat recently. My mom got it for me as a gift, like, when she went on a work trip a long time ago. Elf Twitch, did I say hi? Romancing the wife is worth prestige? Is it? Uh, also, my wife is a renowned physician. <sighs> it costs 200 prestige. <laughs> it costs 200 prestige to change out my court physician. <laughs> My cousin, Magnum P.I., has given birth to a genius son. And... Your name is now... Anders... A... And... Excuse me, son. Magnum P.I. son. Name ends with a space. So, romancing the wife. I can't? I can't. Oh, because she's homosexual. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, we're toe to dial now. The person we fought ever so hard for. Greetings, King toe dial of Norway. I've studied the Saxon language for many moons. This letter I personally penned using the Saxon script dedicated to you, a letter of friendship from a speaker of Magyar. Uh, Magyar, Magyar. I wish for our future diplomatic dealings to benefit us both greatly. Hmm, a grand prince wants to be my friend. I could laugh at him for 150 prestige. But I want to be a friend. My friend! The king of Hungary. We do have a gay wife, yep. Oh, legendary shin kick? Isn't already a witch? Hmm. <laughs> Totodile, is that you? <laughs> what nonsense is this? Okay, she lost 20 opinion of me and learned my witch secret. Uh-oh. I could have sworn that she was a witch. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, well, sure. All right then, how about we ask you to convert to witchcraft? Wait, wasn't I supposed to be swaying somebody? 
They reveal! Oh, that's how I should have known, because it's like insta-revealed. Like, super instantly. Okay. So this one should be like an instant reveal too. The reveal! <gasps> At least it's quick. Okay, so I'm Chonkia. Should also be a witch. Our previous ruler went through and converted. Did the hard work of converting. We just have to uncover it. The reveal. So, witchcraft is considered a crime, so everybody is a witch in secret, and they, we all don't know about each other. <laughs> did we keep the crowns? Yes, we did. We sure did. <laughs> Hello, Damage Carbine, how are you? Hello. Okay, that, who was that? Magnum PI? Pungent Master, let's... It's actually a nice way... Wait, why can't I convert you to witchcraft? This is a nice way to get some... Some sway with everybody. Imagine all, all of us finding out we're witches at the feast, pointing at each other like the Spider-Man meme. Yeah, I know memes. Mm-hmm. I know memes. You're working and playing demos. Ooh, what demos are you checking out? The reveal! <gasps> Gasp. Red is already a witch. Hey, this is much, 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 much faster than I realized. I thought I was gonna have to, like, at least spend a few months on each person. It's... I think like a week. It seems like two-ish. I don't know, that person is not converting instantly. It makes me think <gasps> number of nights increase. Yeah. Makes me think they're not a witch. If it's taking too long, I think they're not a witch. I'm gonna abandon it. Oh, Spider-Man meme. Okay, I know this one. Bon Bon Jovi left the prison. Okay, so who's next? Is there a way to keep the dynasty tree expanded? Victoria's shin kick. Started on the 1st of January. Wait. The game was started on the 1st of January. Not the scheme. I was looking at the wrong person. Wait, so she's not a witch either? Traders, raiders, and mercenaries. The Norse have long traveled from Scandinavia all throughout Europe and even beyond, leaving their mark everywhere they went. Now it appears that this age may be coming to an end, as cultural differences and clan rivalries have led to the rise of disparate Danish, Swedish, and Norwegian identities among them. What does this mean? Okay, I'll give it a little bit... longer? Another sun! Another one! Dad, yeah, you're not getting very creative anymore. Nope. Double bacon cheeseburger. Cheese bird burger. <laughs> bon Bon Jovi is a pretty sweet name, agreed. If something that should legitimately belong to me. Nicer. 
I mean, I, I might just give it to you. This is nice, but I'll, I'll give it to you because I think he's right, actually. I can have it. I'm not trying to start something. I'm pretty sure that she's not a witch either. Let's abandon it. I have to, like, keep the realm together. I can't be greedy. I'm a loot goblin, though, and, you know, I of course I want to keep it. Of course I do, but maybe I just skipped everybody up here. I think I did. Let's... I guess let's start here. People really dislike me. Rook betrothal. Oh, yeah, I did that. <laughs> I did do that. That was me. Someone has returned from the Ring Ringian Guard. I barely recognize my courtiers. Steer Steerbjorn as he enters my great hall. I am home, host, he bellows. There have been many a time I thought I would never see these shores again, but I am finally back. As strange as it is to see him back after all these years, I cannot deny that I am impressed with his Greek dress, his foreign jewelry, and the heavy coffer he brought with him. My champion! The reveal! I guess I skipped those people on the, at the top of the tree. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I already know that he has a witch secret. Toasted bread, I know you're a witch. I know it. The reveal! I need to pay more attention to how many days it takes. What about immortal intern? The 21st of November. Someone is plotting to kill my champion! Dum dum dum! That it was the 21st? Like 15, 14 to 15 ish days for the reveal to happen. Okay, so. Just for you, Tom. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Does win. It already has a secret. Already has a secret. Already has a secret. Or to witchcraft? I don't even know who I've converted anymore. Cousin slain in battle. Oh no. What a shame. When do we overthrow the Pope and let the people practice witchcraft openly? I don't know if we're going to be overthrowing the court. Someone's plotting to kill my wife. Someone's plotting to kill, like, everybody in my family. This is taking time. So I don't think that she's already a witch. My son! Another Totodile, Totodile son. <laughs> Alright, Craving Carbonara, Totodile son. May you grow to be strong and wise, young one. You're plotting against everybody except me, I'm sure. I'm sure I have nothing to worry about. Nothing whatsoever. We become Norwegian. We've been Norwegian the whole time. It's my kinswoman, the Baron Fiend. Can I imprison her? It's an act of tyranny. She's plotting to kill my wife. What? No, we're, we have not become Norwegian yet. I'm still in negative prestige. I write. To inform you of a most appalling discovery I made about High Chieftain Yatvarth. This man is engaging in unsavory and dishonorable activities behind your back. I sincerely hope that bringing this sensitive information to you... 
Will prove my unwavering loyalty. What is the... What is the secret? So I don't get any sway with him. All I get is a secret, and this guy also loses opinion of me. Or I can say, forget about it. Forget about it. You leave for five minutes and Kuma's reverse chess? Not anymore. Doesn't last long. <laughs> You know, it's ephemeral. Like, Tuesdays itself. I am proud to see my son is no longer a child, but an adult. He became a charismatic negotiator and can be married in four years. GG! Okay, Kurt Bobby is taking a while. Normally, enjoy the lurk! Enjoy the lurk. I appreciate you lurking here. Have a good one. Can't remember who I've... ...converted. None of these names feel familiar. I don't know that I have converted any of them. I think I, I might have already discovered everybody that I've already... ...already converted. I heart Costco. Outbred? No, these sound familiar! Everybody in King and Innocent Bystander's immediate family. No one else is plotting to kill my courtier, oh my gosh. I might have to start converting. Oh, I'm being raided. Too late. <laughs> the Trothed can marry. My champion, I heart Costco. Okie dokie. It is my duty to inform you that irrefutable evidence has been unveiled proving that your marriage with Queen Child number two is consang consanguineous in nature. This information will stay between the two of us if you end this unholy union at once. And people do not like me. Hmm, I gain the trait incestuous if I fail? What is this little blurby thing right here? It must be the incestuous trait. Oh, it is. Yeah. That little family photo, it stands for the... Inc it's the symbol for incestuous. Would it be so bad to divorce her? We already had, like, loads of children. How is... She's very good at learning? Managing the Empire is a lot. Sixty-eight percent chance. What about the intrigue? Neither one of us is very good at intrigue. 68% chance. I can I can prove the claim is fake or set him straight. Either way, it doesn't look very good. So I will divorce her. If it was you, you'd kill your nephew on the spot with a crossbow to make sure the information never left the room. Well, you know, we can marry somebody who's gonna help us with some stuff. I guess. 
<laughs> Trails off. Um... Oh, you know what? We should pick somebody who is going to give us a gain in prestige. Can we not just remarry the same person? I don't think so. I don't think that's gonna work. Sort by prestige gain. I could marry a six-year-old. Get 400 prestige gain from marrying a six-year-old. How is that better than being married to, like, my 50-something-year-old cousin? Why, why is that the preferable solution? I could marry a one-year-old. I'm like a 60-year-old dude. Why would someone ask for divorce when they can blackmail for money and favors? We'd be engaged, not married. Yeah, we would. But if I... Uh, let's turn off inheritable traits. Best I can do, it looks like, is 400 prestige gain. If I marry her. But her skills are not great. Actually, they're pretty awful. But we want to be married because then we can have the our spouse help us. Marry for prestige, then leave and remarry for big points. I think divorcing it is a prestige loss, though, isn't it? Nice! I'm in the positive! <laughs> Yay! Okay. Definitely not a witch. Definitely not. What happened? The latest work of my vassal, High Chieftain Yet Varth, has become all the rage of court as of late. This piece deals with success and growing greatness, and he's publicly dedicated it to me. Bloodlust for Norway. New conflict brings wrath to all someday. Our hero lives to enter the fray. His subjects prove grateful for if they're not, they'll learn how an empire is wrought. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I can see this is truly heartfelt for the 75 prestige and plus 20 opinion. Wait, I gained 20 opinion of him. How's it, Tiff? Hi, Carva! How's it going? I may have to manually convert people to witchcraft. I... I'm only at 40% of my... Dynasty. I was hoping I'd get a little further. Although we did only get to like 40%, 44%, so that makes sense. Why don't we start with people we know are going to be successful convert tees? Okay, 95% is pretty good. Don't quit your day job would be your response. Brutal. My grandson can be married. What kind of marriage should we do? Let's say all and inheritable traits. <laughs> He's 16. A notable guest has arrived. 
Whatever this is sounds pretty epic. The weakness that has plagued my son since birth has finally released its hold. Relief washes over me as I see slanderous fiend running about with the other children. He has lost the trade sickly. Easiest way to take kids at like 13 to 14 is put your educator to a witch. Yes. That is pretty simple. I learned of somebody's witchcraft secret. My daughter-in-law has given birth to another daughter. Her name will be Jarl. Jarl Bredson. <laughs> All right, so... We learned of somebody else's witchcraft secret. You're getting there. My candidate is first in line in both Norway and Denmark. Heck yeah. Is it... We cannot host a feast or a hunt just yet. We can in two years. I'm gonna commission an artifact. And I'm gonna get a crown made. I'm in a personal deity. I kind of forgot this is a thing I can do. And I might become a devotee of Thor. Oh wait, I already am. Never mind. <laughs> I already am. Just kidding, just kidding. So at 400 prestige, I think I can change my culture. And I am a peacemaker now. Thor was so last Thursday. My spy master has come to me with grave news. It is Sela Hunden who is plotting against my kinswoman. Sela Hunden! Over to witchcraft? <laughs> I keep changing who I'm focusing on. I feel like I should have paid more attention to who I converted yesterday. Another kid? Oh no, Goswin! Goswin, Goswin, son. Inbred. Goswin, oh. Hey, Pasej Haunter. I feel like that actually might be true. That's so mean, JSOG. How is the acceptance of... Uh, am I going to be able to see acceptance for another culture here? 10%. Almost there. Hi, Flamethrower. How's it going? And Ella, hello. I think I did not say hi. How are you doing? My metalsmith, Lietzwind, updates me on her progress, droning on about limits of hammer and bellows as my mind reels with bold ideas for my crown. Uh, making may not be my personal forte, but that doesn't mean I can't have a say in how my money is spent. I can say I have a few suggestions in stewardship challenge, so if I set you to stewardship, we have a few suggestions, 82% chance my ideas work well, and we will gain an artifact of higher quality. Nice. E, D. Clean is clean. Awesome. Being freshly showered 
I, or I guess bathe is a really, really nice feeling. I learned of wizard's secret. A faction has been created against me. I've already... Fought everybody off. This is not good. They have five members. High Chieftain Ulf... Ulf... Thin and High Chieftess Olmfrith are among my most powerful vassals of my realm. I never know how to keep them happy so they don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is a way to go. Neither of these two... Oh, wait. She is one of the people in this... Right here. What if I can flatter her right out of this alliance? Or this faction? Anyone would be pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? I have just the right thing in the making. I should let my beneficiary know that I am dedicating her masterpiece to my most trustworthy vassal and advisor. <gasps> but I could say to myself. Yep, definitely to myself because I need that prestige. <laughs> Relaxing and observing CK3 chaos. It is a little chaotic today. My feeble vassal... High Chieftain Yatvarth is known for his prowess in military matters, especially in areas where I found myself lacking. He can teach me to be a forder. 90% chance? For like 40 gold? That's not bad at all. Fingers crossed. So... I had a few... Ooh, invite champions. Nope, nope, don't do it. Save the prestige. <laughs> Up to 42.5% of the dynasty. Hey, it worked! Impressive, my lord! My inclination towards the teachings of High Chieftain Yatvarth might not come as a surprise, but I find myself satisfied less. I am a forder. <laughs> Hi, Edgar. No. I will not. Please don't tell me what to do. My daughter, Adelheid, has given birth to a son. All right. Your son's name is... Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Bacon! May you grow strong and wise. I call to you to honor our alliance and join a subjugation war. Okay. May you grow strong and delicious. This is a good way to get myself some prestige, though. I don't know... Wait. Who's being subjugated? That's the war target right there? Yeah. Wait, what? I guess I'm just going for those two targets. Let's, uh, let's raise the army. Let's go through and capture everybody. Be awesome. And then get tons of prestige. It, I know, really what needs to happen is I need to, I think, cheer with my bot. I need to go give my bot some bits. <laughs> Bits and bots. Whoops. Sorry. Right, go here and you go here. And I don't really need this much army. I wonder if there is a pesky vassal of mine that I can put in charge here. Who is in the faction? Whoa! Hey now. Hey now. Listen. Come on. Do you have to do this? Do you have to? I've already bribed all of you. The people from Denmark. Ah, 
so let's see if any of these people are the... Wait, I saw someone light up. This guy. Earl Bjornwolf. You're the commander now. <laughs> um... I tell you what, abandon the witch thing for now. I'm gonna start swaying her. And go to battle. Yeah, that's a warband. I don't know that I can survive that. Well, I, I probably can. I don't know, actually. I don't know how many of my vassals... ...armies these are. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know how much of my levies... ...are from the vassals that are forming this faction against me. Wait, someone just left! Somebody just left. I literally can't bribe any more people. You know what I could do is try to find secrets... ...and see if I could blackmail them into not being able to be in a faction. Um... I especially know that... ...he has a secret because we used it against him in the, with our last ruler. Over here, my lord, my beneficiary waves me over with a wide grin. I've toiled many day and night, and finally, my work is done. She presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, and as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. A fancy crown of fine craftsmanship. It's forged from brass with small pieces of onyx. Oh, here it is. Nice. Vassal limit plus two? Just because I have a crown? Alright. Should I be using a Saxon sword, or should I be using this? Rate, prowess plus two, raise speed plus five percent. Oh yeah, Saxon sword's better. Artifacts are awesome. Agreed. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw my Spymaster over here in... ...your court, because I know that you have a secret that I can blackmail you with. Uh-oh. My antiquarian has died of old age. <sighs> if I want to see an OP artifact, check out the crown of Justinian in the Byzantine throne room. I can't? Oh, core artifacts, here we go. Monthly Renown plus 5%, Domain Limit plus 1, Fast Limit plus 10, and Court Grandeur bonus plus 4. That's really nice. I want some artifacts. Like, some legendary artifacts, I want some. Bananas. <laughs> Ten fast limits bananas. It is pretty insane. Oh no, you're on the retreat because you lost a battle. I'm not sure if we're defending or attacking. It's a subjugation war, or we are attacking. So my ally here is trying to subjugate what I assume is Greater Poland? Is that the war target? How do we see that? No, we're trying to subjugate here? Why is it blue? Oh, this is my ally. Why is my ally red? That's really confusing. <laughs> my realm is blue. Wait, what? My enemy's ally. Oh, my enemy's ally.
Light blue is the war target, red is enemy. This is purple. <sighs> okay. So I'm I'm sieging their ally right now. That's not very helpful. Let's go here. That's the war target, so it's gonna be much more effective. Plus, we might be able to have some battles for prestige. I like the idea of that. What's this faction? Someone, someone left, didn't they? I'm gonna speed it up. I'm too impatient. You know why I'm so impatient? Because I have to go to the bathroom. But I'm like, I must keep playing CK3 and it's so early to take a break. Norway's next top, next top witch. Getting married. She's blinded. Nos Nos, redeemed restretch. Oh, definitely needed that. Thank you. Didn't I go yesterday? I did go yesterday. Yeah, and I have to go again today. It's that place I visit quite often. On account of being hydrated. I actually finished all the water in my water bottle. Just kidding, no I didn't. I refilled it. Thanks, Alistair. All right, we did it. Let me see if I can move on this army. I'm trying to drink more water, you know? I also feel like I should change to a better commander. But I'm also kind of hoping this guy might... Army supplies running low, defending a river crossing, defending in mountains. Okay, yeah, fine. More likely to win. Okay, can I siege this? This is not siegeable, is it? It is siegeable. After my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my champion's lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I find I heart Costco and high chieftain or in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge them on. Oh, if I deliver a speech about unity, I can gain 150 prestige. Hold on, let's let's ask our wife to help with that. She's not very good at diplomacy. 50-50 chance. <laughs> Deliver a risky speech to the crowd. I get up and deliver a speech about how we are all fighting from the Kingdom of Norway and how we must stand united against our foes. For if we don't, there will be many outsiders who would take advantage of our squabbles and seize our land and impose their rule on us. Looking abashed, I heart Costco and High Chieftain Berg Thor apologize and get ready to settle them for the night. Yes. GG. No risk, no fun. Yeah, <laughs> right? I know. Your uncle just caused your empire to split up almost completely. Yeah, that happens. Feels bad, too. I actually think I can uh, do a thing. I can do a thing! I can... convert to local culture. No, I'm, no, I can't. Not yet. I'm missing 21... prestige. I thought I needed 450? I need 500. Are you about to be... engaging with raiders? Yes? Gallant! 
Marshall plus two, prowess plus four, monthly prestige plus 20%. Why did you do this? Oh no. We're gonna get wrecked. I got wrecked. I got 142 prestige for it. Yikes. Rushed him. Go back up here. Despite my best efforts, I don't think there's any secrets. No, I know there's a secret. I know it. A faction targeting me has disbanded. Oh, really? Uh, did you lose a lot of prestige? That sucks. It stinks when that happens. You still love the elective. Now you're all about partition slash castration. The game's turned you into a monster. It seems like it. It seems like it, JSOG. Oh! It was a slaughter. We got 142 prestige for it. My counselor died from smallpox. An absolute slaughter. Uh, we can put... Let's assign him, because now he's on my... Yeah. Hmm? I think this is helpful. I'm pretty sure that he's one of the people in the faction. I could be wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> Oh, let's go help this battle out. I don't think we can get there in time. My courtier has given birth to a daughter. Stella Hunden, Norway's next, to next top witch's daughter. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cocoon. Love it. Dice Cocoon. Dice Cocoon. <laughs> oh. My army is starving. I don't believe there's any secrets. No, I really, I think there's some secrets to find. Really, really. Oh. My great granddaughter. How am I ending up with all these bad traits? Why are her eyes censored? Because she's blind. Quite the name. Uh... Lemon... Ducks... X... Wisdom... Tooth. Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me. Okay, my army's just kind of like hanging out in the middle of the road here. Let's at least go do something. Did you unsiege that? No, they didn't. Alright, she was swayed. Let's cancel that now. And work towards swaying this guy. Earl Thayraid. A raid. For raid. Yeah, my army is... ...getting a little bit, uh... ...a little bit famished. We're going taking this, and then we'll go and take the capital back. Get too many vassals, so he gave you two. See, you can you can build it back up. Okay, fine. There's no secrets. I'm sitting around the map table with High Chieftain Freyr and High Chieftain Ulf Thin discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. 
Bear bangs his fist on the table, and loudly proclaims we should charge the enemy directly and crush them with the sheer might of our armies. While Ulfithin sits back and patiently advocates for us to secure critical locations and wait for the enemy to come to us instead. Hmm. Oh, my spy master. Improved defenses. This character is thinking of ways to fortify their position, ensuring they do not get overrun. I could have them both gain 10 opinion of me, or I could just make my spy master get plus 20. I'm going to do that. Spy master liking me is good. This is good. Lightning has struck your brain, checking something. Okay. My granddaughter! Meep! That's a cute name. That's a cute name as opposed to all these other strange names chat's giving me. <laughs> oh, I have the prestige! When did that happen? Okay, let's... I'm at war. I can't convert to local culture because I'm at war. I was oof doing literally no idea. Literally none. <laughs> She's commanding this army herself. What if we capture her? I captured her. Our forces captured the queen. Cool. We captured the enemy war leader, so I got a fair bit for that. Fair bit of war score. This is good news. Now we just wait for our ally to declare a victory and we head home. Wow. I've expanded. This is my realm now. <laughs> my vassals are off doing things. You're really gonna come to war with me when you've lost? Yes. I gained 350 prestige. Look at me. Where did all this prestige come from? Disband my army. Awesome. Okay, now I can do the thing and convert to local culture. Adopt Norwegian culture. Wait, no, no, we don't want that. We Wait, do we? No. Wait, what? Ah, buckets. I want a Norse. What happened to the Norse culture? I just became Norwegian. <laughs> uh. Diverge from the Norse culture in 962. Sorry. Yes, 962. How did that happen? Okay. Norse is only until the Viking raids ended. Well, the problem is, I think that ruins my achievement that I was going towards. Kingdom of the High Seas, I think, had to be done as a Norse culture, but Norse doesn't exist anymore. Oh, it has to be North Germanic. Norwegian counts. Oh, okay. Sure. 
It's because our culture had diverged the culture. I don't know what that means. To be quite honest, like the difference between converging and diverging a culture. But I'm still gonna converge. Let's do it. Convert! I acknowledge who I am. <gasps> I look completely different. My changing culture made my hair grow so long. <laughs> okay. There's still Norse culture over here. Uh, so how do I view the cultural acceptance once again? Anglo-Saxon culture in my realm. Acceptance, zero percent. Ugh. Started over since we just turned Norwegian. Ugh. <laughs> Did I turn back to Norse? It was at like 17%, bro! What did you do that for? No, I'm the culture head. Let's turn it back. I actually have no idea if I can. <laughs> Someone else! Enema! Enema's back! And is severely wounded. I'm back. I gave up my culture head for like five years, and you see what happened? Somebody went and made bad decisions before. M so I can establish a new tradition. So they just added a new tradition, and it reformed everything. The succession mess hurt us pretty bad. Yeah. I can move my capital to a Norse county, convert to local culture, and move back to Trondheim. And then convert again? How would that work out? My son and heir Everett has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel the man is waiting for me to impress him. I should probably engage him in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for him to simply see me interacting with my men. There's something to be said for at least pretending to know everybody's face. Yeah, let's get respected figurehead. It'll bring us back to the acceptance between the Norse and Anglo-Saxon. Um, I have like one county. Nighten, hello! Thank you so much for eleven months, Nighten. Welcome back. I hope you're doing great. Thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate the support. Happy Tuesday! It's a fancy Tuesday. I mean, I don't know that it's, it's worth rolling it back, actually. Because we... Still holding on to all this. And we gained one more tradition that we didn't have before. We got performative honor. Characters of this culture may become shield maidens if their faith gender doctrine is biased against them. Crimes by characters you cannot imprison. And who aren't your liege can be settled via No, wait, we already had this. What changed? Northern stories? What? I guess this changed. You know what? I don't know. Norse culture split happens around 900. Not much of a change. So, should I just leave it? 
then. How's it going today, Snyden? Why isn't there a threes day or fives day? I do not know. I mean, we can just work on increasing cultural acceptance again. Someone's plotting to kill my champion! Promote cultural acceptance. We're already working on that. Weighing the good, Earl. While hosting lords and ladies from the realm near and far, some opportunities to portray my vassal, Earl Thorade, in a good light, have presented themselves. Self. My lord, pray tell, who is the most elegant person you've heard of? The Earl, of course. You are a good human. Aww. Well, Mary, thank you. No, you. <laughs> no, you, Ball Mary. Thank you for seven months. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Thank you, thank you. <sighs> that was nice. <laughs> Is there a way that I can... Hey, thank you. Expedite cultural acceptance. Since we got almost there and now it reset. Can, can we expedite? Can we, like... Have a convention or something? We're off work and able to watch. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. I have 25 champions and they're all pretty good. Sort of. Let's make sure our air stop tickling my nose. Making sure my okay, my marshal can be in the battles, sure, but I don't want my the heck. Leroy Chonkin. <laughs> I don't know why Leroy Chonkin just cracks me up. There are events you hold in court that help, but nothing you've seen outside of that. Hmm. A beautiful grandson. The name Onik. The appropriate spelling of Kenna, I'd assume. I actually kind of like the name Onik. That's, that's cool. Onik. Okay, I really, 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 really have to go to the bathroom. I can't sit still any longer. It needs to happen. I shoveled food in mouth and into tummy and am full now. But let's hit play. Bless you. Hope you can hear me. He's sneezing. Okay, so I proceeded to 100% forget what we were working on when I left to go to the bathroom. I just, I had to go to the bathroom that badly. It's all I could think about. What's with all these kids? Which clip was weird? <laughs> what are these names? Trout Wheeler? What? Was the one with the, the tiger the weird clip? That's pretty weird. The one where you say you're back, and then you talk? Oh. <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> Gosh, his belly costs reduced. Okay, so we need to start... ...taking over... ...England. Where to start... ...where to start. Oh no, Tom! That's so sad. <laughs> to make them all vassals. Yes. We should have this decision back. 
You sure do. We need the title of England. So... Blip, 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 blip. Secure the High Kingdom of the North Sea. We need the... Kingdom of England. But more importantly, I need to... Completely control the region of the North Sea Heartlands. So we've got... We're actually missing a little bit of land right here. And then we need the entirety of England. No problem. <laughs> Let's get to it. Where to start? Where to start? Should we... Should we take out the big bullies first? And... Then just gobble everybody else up around them? Declare war right here for oh Earl Ekfrith's claims. He has a kingdom of the uh, claim on the entire petty kingdom. I don't like this guy, and we don't really want to make him a petty king. That's a lot of land, and it's very cheap. His children like me more anyway. Let's do it. Declare war. War declared. <laughs> war declared. <laughs> they just want you to relax, Tom. Can we make him a petty king and then take it back? Well, we are warring in his name. So basically, I'm doing a kingdom tier war. Landerous fiend Chunkia adopted the Norse culture. Cool. Okay, what was I saying? Oh, because I'm pushing his claim, I will not get this land. I'm pretty sure that's how this works. He'll take it. He'll take the title. And when that happens, he will gain pretty much all of that. War was declared. So we can't really take it back from him. It'll be his. But, you know, it's fine. Why don't I have a command for that? I feel like I was supposed to make an exclamation war. <laughs> Can we steal it then? I don't know. I'm sure we can somehow orchestrate that to happen. So yeah, um, I feel like Mercia here has a whole lot of land, so let's just take it. My counselor drank himself death. who I was swaying, right? <laughs> no. Okay. Let's send you some gold so you'll like me more. What about you? Can I send you some gold? No gold. Mission war. Flip is this. Yeah! I'm going to war! <laughs> yeah, I should make that a sound, a sound uh, command. Yeah! I'm going to war. <laughs> the sun's so bright. Um, it appears that they have quite the epic army. A uh, sun. He's uh. I don't know about this, okay? Because I'm a genius and a giant, and he's neither of these things. Maybe I'm just too used to noble veins, like, back from dinner. Welcome back. It is a good clip, right? I know. I know. Bye on the wife. 
how do I spy on my wife? I have to put my spy master in my court, yeah? Exactly. Okay, it's done. I also suspect adultery. And I'll be honest, I don't really care that much. The only thing I care about is that she's helping me with the court and I gain prestige by marrying her, so it's fine. Ask her politely if she cheats. <laughs> Listen, really, it's okay. It's okay, but we just need to... I just need to know the truth. I don't have to worry about... The Earldom of North Riding? They are the Anglo- Whoa! Popular opinion, bad. <laughs> Is bad. Hi, Jengis. Hello. My daughter-in-law. Okay, there's no way. There's no way, right? Because she's a genius, he's a genius. Where's the genius? Or at least, like, any sort of smart trait. Maybe it's because I just, I don't have any points? Why does it always type stuff backwards? Waiter man. Maybe it's because in the Dynasty Legacies, which are located here, I don't have any perks here. So maybe that's why we're just... ...not awesome all the time? My agents have yet to discover anything in this court. Hey, keep looking! New geniuses are pretty much confirmed to get the genius trait. That's what I'm saying! It was, it feel like it should have happened. Which is why I'm still looking around. You went to the shower and forgot, and now it's 22.33 already. You missed it by 11 minutes. 11 whole minutes. Can I raise, like, partial army? I... <laughs> I don't really want to raise that many people. Does she have any modifiers? I have no idea. Like, gifts? It would be over here, right? She doesn't. Um, the kid that was just born was... No. 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure who that was. Uh... Lemon Ducks X, X Wisdom Tooth... What did we just name them? We named somebody Spider-Man. Who? What was the name before Spider-Man? Back from dinner. Okay. Oh wait, this is me? This is my kid! Oh wait, no, no, we are looking for Spider-Man. For Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Found you, little Spider-Man. Okay, so. Edmar Totodile's son, a genius and a giant. Married to bred an innocent bystander. Dodor. A genius. They have a possessed daughter. Eep. Then there's Spider-Man. She's only quick, too. I don't know, there's some weirdness going on here. 
No modifiers. Maybe it just so happens that that's what happened. Maybe... Maybe it just is. My daughter Adelaide's given birth to a son. Giant and beautiful, but none of these traits. Why does this keep happening? Oh, I can't pick this name, George. That's mean. I'm gonna skip it. Okay, Alistair. You, your na this name is another Doter, but I'm gonna say another son. No, they would- they would be born with the trait if they had it. <gasps> While performing his duties as spymaster, hi, Chieftain Bergthor has uncovered a secret about my steward! He schemed... to have... Whoever this is, murdered! Oop, I hope they don't get away! No, they got away! They got away, all right. The sun is too bright today. I can't, I can't take it. Gonna have to get curtains or something for my window. I guess let's just take this here. The truths can marry. Pope Nomber Nomber and Papal Sea Dismantler. I don't believe I arranged this, but, you know, go for it. So we're just aiming to hold, like, a, a certain amount of this war target. I'm actually... Can create? I cannot create. What's... Okay, I have a question. How do I determine how to raise my men-at-arms limit? Movement speed plus 15%. Yes, please. Organize march. Somebody's a non-believer. My spy master's a non-believer? Mostly tech. Okay. Wizards can be married. <laughs> Why don't we do this? That seems good. My grandson and champion can be married. He is a genius and handsome and strong. A genius and handsome and strong. Let's arrange by age, maybe. Although there's somebody here who's... Herculean. Yeah, we're doing it. He's the full package deal, yeah. There is. Hey, wait, you can't take that! They are... Stop it! They are... Unseeging this faster than I can siege that. Oh no, they're gonna finish it before I can get there. Aren't they? <laughs> they fled! They fled at 172.3 out of 172. Technically, they should not have... <gasps> I'm ill! King or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortal. I was reminded of this this morning as I woke up coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. Hey, she is a renowned physician. It's too late for caution. Wait. Okay, balanced tumors. I will live to see another day. Greatly reduced disease symptoms. So, she brought to my chamber a pot of 
strange buzzing sounds. Before I could stop her, she threw it on the floor where it exploded in a cloud of pottery and shards and a swarm of furious bees. As my physician flooded the room, I remained their only target. <laughs> okay. Sure. Anyways, let's make sure that my candidate's first in line. Yep. Okay, good. Higher titles, fascinations, and a few cultures have more men at arms. Okay. I really want to catch these guys. Like, stop, stop running away. Where'd they go? They disappeared. There they are. I'm gonna catch him. Right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on! <gasps> We're catching them. They're caught. Yes! Wrecked. Riggity wrecked. I got 610 fame for that. <laughs> yes, die! Mm, we killed two of their champions, slain in battle, and ripped apart limb by limb. I lost 70 soldiers, they lost 2,350. Hello, we just want to talk. <laughs> Alright, someone's... I should probably pay attention to who's doing what. I just saw that someone's engaging in sodomite or whatever. I don't know. I mean, it's hooks. It hooks. It hooks. We're still swaying. The the good Earl, right? Truth can marry. Oh, here's Oof. I found Oof. Oof Sela Hundinson. And Canada Raid are engaged to be married. So we got max battle score for that. We just need to finish some sieges now. I have learned somebody's witchcraft secret. How am I finding this out? <gasps> I'm my old self again. Okay, good. I'm 63. Oof is handsome. Oof is kind of handsome, yeah. I have two prisoners that can be ransomed. Are they worth war score? Negatory. Two Earls. Raven Carbonara needs a guardian. While performing my duties as spymaster. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ooh, this is actually useful, I think. I think that's actually useful. Although he's not in a faction against me anymore, is he? No, so what I really want to do is like dig up some secrets on these two. Four. Those four. Your uncle's <laughs> Take that, uncle! <laughs> oh, this game makes cruel people out of all of this. Siege one. Enforce my demands! I have turned the person who hates me into a petty king! So be it. Earl Egfrith, Ail Thmerson of North Riding, stays my vassal, becomes a petty king. He becomes his vassal. A lot of people become his vassal. Good, so the person who hates me is even more powerful now. Love it. Ah, negative 13, check that out. I have a hook on you. Is this your heir? Mm hmm. I'm gonna blackmail his son.
My spy master has come to me with grave news. It is my kinswoman, the same person. She... No, wait, this is not the same person. Maybe. My your auntie married off. Where did the empire? Collective is a nightmare as soon as you lose your grip on it. Yes. It does. What is going on? And all. Okay, so check it out. Norway grows! I can raise a runestone. Definitely going to do that. Oh, yes. We're going to create a runestone. Not our vanquished foe. We did take her petty kingdom. Let's figure out... This is a conquest runestone. Yes, control growth. 0.5 per month. So since we just conquered a new area... Control group... Uh, growth... Control... I'm sorry, what are words? Control is going to be pretty bad. Wow, it is awful in North Riding. So I have a few options for where I can place these. Although I don't know where this is. Why all the way over here? I don't really need control growth in any of these areas. Why is it- why can't I put them over here? Wouldn't that make more sense? Okay. All direct vassals that use the runestones. Okay, son, you need to knock it off today. I guess I can check to see which of my vassals are not great in these areas. I don't really know how to check. Let's put it in Jonkheim. I don't know. I would prefer it to be across the sea so we could work on control over there. Let's raise the control on North Riding because it's really bad. Like, really bad. It's 20. That should... I wonder... Would that help with the faction? Wait, I have a hook on him. I have a weak hook. Oh, because I... Got him his petty kingdom. Yeah, he should, like, basically love me now. Just saying. <laughs> Press my claim, plus 50. He still dislikes me? Okay. So I said that I loved the create character button. This character that I created has been nothing but trouble. Uh, like, you know how you have rivals in the game? Like, the, the game kind of decides who your rival is? My rival is this guy. Duke Egfrith. Eg Egfrith. I curse the day he was born, and the world will be a better place when he dies. <laughs> My granddaughter has given birth to a son. What's the line? Like, Lord knows I was cursed the day the Earl was born. Swirling Eureli. May you grow to be strong and wise. No one's on her side. Good. It's early, but you think you're going to have a cold beer. You've been cleaning all freaking day with a lot more to do. Sometimes, you know... Nice beer is where it's at. Okay, apparently there's no more secrets. What about where you're located? At my court. Okay, fine. Who am I swaying? Wow, this is not working out. Fortunately for me, they don't really have a lot of power of discontent, so I think I'm going to abandon the swaying scheme once this is done, and then we're going to go back to the witchcraft thing. Because... We're down to 33.96% because people keep having kids. Craving Carbonara came to me complaining about... 
dagger bullying him. He's been staying in his bed for days. To avoid facing the other child. You can't be lazy like me, son. You cannot be lazy like me. Although, I guess maybe you're gonna be lazy like me. <laughs> your wife is taking... Bar exam, and tomorrow too, and her family arrives to town on Friday. Stressful, Ben. Stressful, but good luck- good luck to your wife, I hope that works out. I hear it's... a very, very crazy exam. I assume it's for Colorado, right? I'm gonna modify his contract as well. From high levies to normal? I don't know why he was on high, but that did put him into the positive! Yeah! My daughter has given birth to a daughter. Universal exam. Something like 30 states. Ugh. Okay, cool. Well, seriously, good luck. There's two of them. Oh. Jengis, we drew this name yesterday, so I'm gonna... Okay. Child number one. Is that... A weed? Child number two. Amanda Uggin Kiss. Two little twins. One is sterile. What is going on in this family? What is going on? Okay, cool. I'm glad everybody is on board with Everett being the king. He's a foreigner's pet. What does it mean to be a foreigner's pet? With all these kids. <gasps> uh, genius. Handsome. Giant. They are multiplying faster than I can name them. You're telling... <laughs> also, I've come to the conclusion that you all are out of... ...original names. <laughs> you, you're out of original names, aren't you? As I draw the name Mwahaha. Okay, I, I, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Idols can be created. Of course, this is not important to me, but we can imprison them if I want to. I think we're going to host a feast. Why was this aborted? The sun today. The guests are gathered in the great hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright, the spirits are high as the feast begins. I'm surprised nobody's redeemed two for two recently. Why are we not increasing county control? Okay, I think this is a bug. This event happens every time. The wine has gone bad. Well, we can fight er, thirst. Fight, fight. Fight thirst again. Norway just has terrible wine. Yeah, that might be it. Neighboring ruler. Ah, over in England. Okay, the latest work of my acquaintance, Prince Hudwall, has become all the rage at court of late. The piece deals with memory and what we leave behind, and Tudwall has publicly dedicated it to me. Then not fear as lives depart, crossing to quiet death with noble heart. And when their final hour nears, 
Oop, shall they? Their name brings cheers. Are you saying I'm gonna die? Aha, look! It's Tuesday. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do a diplomacy challenge. Thanks, JSOG. <laughs> Either way, I mean, I gain piety or I gain prestige. Poems lauded. I gain prestige. Okay, thanks for the poem. Thanks for the poem. He is not swayed. Okay, abandon. Abandon it. The other guests are laughing and chattering in the noisy hall, making it hard to focus on the gruel in front of me. I draw lines and engagements in greasy sludge, sludge as I think of ways to counter various battle plans. With the heavy infantry holding exactly here, it seems like it might work on the, ba the real battlefield. I think a bowl of gruel could help expand your understanding of martial lifestyle. <laughs> To think. Shocking. Okay, I so here's the thing with the witches. I feel like <sighs> already a witch. Kind of wish I could convert more than one person at once. Yeah, Tom's too salty, so you gotta add some sugar. Everyone heads back to their respective homes, and I'm proud to say this feast was a success. I'm an eager reliver. Rev. <laughs> yep, reliver. Hold the blot. Let's hold a blot. It costs 200 prestige, it'll be unavailable for nine years. We shall. Have the biggest blot there ever was. So this is an event. Sun is blinding me today. This is an event that can only be held every now and then, but it's a really big religious ceremony. And so the more money I spend, the bigger the reach. So I got plenty of it. Might as well make it a big event. Call for Imes to be declared Nithing. A parade of important locals from Nitharos have spent the day trooping through my hall, each one with a unique grievance against my cousin Imes. Some complain about his behavior, other his honor. But one thing all agree on, he is a disgrace. The unwashed masses call for nothing less than a declaration of Nithing? Casting him out. Ooh, the popular opinion though. Will be disinherited and banished. Yikes. A lot of these people are my champions. I just a lurker. Yeah, it's an it's an event. Mm-hmm. It's an event that might involve lots of, um, violence and blood, but it's an event nonetheless. So this says that he loses 75 opinion of me. Is banished and loses 75 opinion of me. Disinherited and then hated. Hatred. Not his family, right? Okay, yeah, it really was 75 times 2. I'm sorry, here, take some gold with you. <laughs> it's still negative 100. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Let's get this one engineered for destruction for siege weapon effectiveness because we're about to take on some more castles. So I know that I was working on a control task. Ah, my vassal is blackmailing me because she learned that I'm a witch. 
I will accept her blackmail. She might shoulder her way onto my court, though, and I don't want that. What if she decided to be a spy master? But if I decline, she will tell everybody I'm a witch, which will kind of be a problem. Actually, question! If she tells everyone I'm a witch, will all the witches come out to me? You know what I mean? Hello, raiders! Hi, Mordred! Hello! Thank you so much for the Viking raid! Funnily enough, we are Vikings too! I am playing as the King of Norway, the King of Denmark, and I'm currently trying to become the King of England. So I can go for this here Kingdom of the High Sea thing. Mordred, I really appreciate the raid! Welcome in everybody, I'm Jess. Playing a lot of CK3 lately. I have kind of been sucked back in. <laughs> I love this game. This game is so good. Masani, hello. Gala, hello there. Mordred, Silver Knight. Sparkith, hello. Sindrin, hi there. You're here to steal my tea. My tea? We'll take my tea. How was the stream? Oh, you were also playing Crusader Kings. Very nice. I really hope it was... I really hope it was a great stream, and thanks for the raid. Maybe... Oh, you see me twice on stream... <laughs> on screen. Yeah, this, so this is a joke I'm doing today. It's a joke I'm doing. It's a channel point that... A channel point redemption that can be redeemed because it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. So for... Two, 22,222 channel points, you can redeem... Double cameras for two minutes every 22 minutes. <laughs> Yodling and Ulch, thank you both for the follows. Welcome, welcome. Mastani, thank you so, so, so much for gifting a sub to Silver Knight. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. I really appreciate the support and thank you all for being so amazingly supportive today. Really hope. You're having a super great Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I forget to turn it off. It's because my chat's blocking that part of my screen and I just sort of forget it exists. Why not two minutes and 22 seconds? Radafel, because I can't count that. <laughs> I'm already failing to count two minutes. <laughs> hey, maybe you all can answer this question for me. Which was what? This one? Hmm, I'm being blackmailed. Silver Knight, thank you for gifting a sub to Mastani. <laughs> that was really, really sweet of you. Please enjoy the emotes, both of you. I hope you like them. Yeah, Mordred, I've been looking forward to this day. And I almost thought the stream wasn't going to work because I had a bunch of technical difficulties today. Had to restart and everything. Oh, but it worked out. It was fun. Okay, here's my question. So, I am King Totodile, and I'm a witch. Hi, I'm King Totodile, and I'm a witch. I'm trying to create a witch coven. <laughs> As the previous ruler, I converted a whole bunch of people to witchcraft, and now my dynasty has gone and had so many children that I... my dynasty expanded a lot. By like 30 people since I became king. And so... They're all so young and I can't convert children to witchcraft, right? So I assume that their parents are converting them. Maybe. But... Yeah, oh, okay. Um, if I were to allow myself to be blackmailed... And news comes out that I'm a witch. Will all the witches of my dynasty reveal themselves to me. Because I'd be like, oh, the king's a witch, let's just all become a coven together. Relying on the AI to do reasonable things. Well, I, like, would that happen? This is Iron Man, so I don't want to out myself as a witch if that's not going to happen. <laughs> 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 
I'm glad you like the emotes. I love my emotes. No way to tell which way it goes. Hmm. Scholar, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, Chrono Cook. So... It's still a crime, they'll stay hidden. Okay, then I guess, you know. She's totally gonna force her way onto my court. She stinks. Fine. I'm a witch. Whatever. <laughs> Black can be both a grand and small affair. By tradition, they also include both human and animal sacrifice. Several prisoners will be offered to the gods, perhaps even including a special choice of my own. Their lives given in tribute to the gods. Though the police of Asatru demand this, there are those amongst my vassals who find the notion barbaric. Yeah, that's the thing. We do have a bunch of vassals in England now. That... Will probably be very offended by human sacrifice, so we're going to bring forth a beast or fowl for every man. And women. No human sacrifices. Okay. Let's just murder her. I I I can't. She just had a son. I am leaving, father. Me and Ma how do you say this? The the AE? Is it Mare? Mare? Me and Mare are in love. You roll your eyes at more names. What is your full son up to now? We will seek adventure. The world is vast and there is glory to be found. I wish to sh <laughs> I wish to shout give pizza at the world until it remembers my name. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it is evident that my beloved son is serious. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you just put pizza in the oven. Get pizza! <laughs> this is my son and champion. He's pretty darn awesome. On account of being a legendary blade master and a giant. Well, <laughs> uh, we can we can give him some gold to whole stay. We'll lose some prestige doing this. We can let him go. We could just let him go. He means lust for adventure. He's got the wanderlust. I, I understand. What am I? I am arbitrary, brave, and lazy. Nah. <laughs> we can duel him. A diplomacy challenge. I don't think that's gonna work out. Mm, no. Oh, the sun today is so bright. He's not gonna believe me when I say there's glory to be had at home, and I'm gonna spend so much prestige losing that one. So why don't we have a duel? Let's duel it out. For a few brief moments, more names and I pace in lazy half-circles, each watching for an opening. I heft my Saxon sword, ready to defend myself, while he clutches his axe firmly to hand. This fight may only be till first blood, but that does not ease my nerves. I haven't dueled... In like two kings. This is I forgot I forgot about the rush of the duel. With a sudden twitch, the bout begins. More names counters with a fierce hail of quick slashes, almost cutting me down repeatedly. What has happened, more names is a high in high increase, the likelihood of success, and a medium risk of injury. I hurl a heavy silver purse at his face. <laughs> I lose stress because I'm arbitrary. Okay. I kind of just want to throw some money at my son's face. <laughs> kick him in the shin. A legendary shin kick.
Oh, uh, yes. So a onesie is like, it's the same same idea, really. Like the, the small clothes for a baby, but like for adults. Um, they're like... What the... They have another name. Um, it's escaping me right now. But basically, it's like the, the one... The... <laughs> Yeah, Kigurumi. All right, right, right. Yes. So it's like... You put it on like it has legs and arms and you zip it up. And sometimes a hood. I'm definitely gonna throw some silver at his head. <laughs> Snatching a heavy purse of monies from my waist, I lob it at more names. It hits him right in the face, giving me a brief opening for a quick slash with my sword. No Names is famed for his abilities with an axe, and he reminds me of this with a perfect flowing chain of quick slashes, punctuated by the occasional terrifying powerful cleave. My form is good, with only small errors. His is incredible. Okay, so I know how duels work now, and we kind of want to make sure we get a high increase to likelihood of success on this move. My prowess is higher, so if we can at least hold him off, we'll win by default. We can't even say it's because we're a giant. Like, we're both giants. We are... We're giants. It's pronounced comfy. <laughs> never, really, never heard of it for an adult. It's a pretty... It's a pretty popular streamer thing. Okay, I don't know what I just clicked. I leap into action, launching a flurry of quick slashes, driving myself hard against More Name's guard. Wearing him down with each expertly timed strike. He pulls back from my every blow, letting me attack without getting another solid hit in. It's not long before I can feel myself beginning to tire. My form is excellent, his is incredible. His guard is fierce and I'm far from victory. So is... I can't really see how this is progressing. But from my understanding of a... duel. From my understanding, basically what's happening here is there's, in the background, modifiers on this duel. So there are, there's two things to consider, risk to injury and likelihood of success. And so every of these, every one of these options gives you a low to high increase to both of these. And so if you fall too low in likelihood of success or too high in risk of injury, I think you lose the the duel. If you manage to stay like neck and neck the whole time, whoever has the higher prowess will win by default. If I'm understanding this correctly. You can see them in the character viewer. <gasps> My prowess dropped actually like in the middle of this. I think it might have dropped, like, while this was happening, because I think I was at 42. Yeah, I was! We went from old age minus 5 to negative 10. Oh, so he has higher prowess now. Oh, his is 32. No, I'm making stuff up. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go with medium increase to likelihood of success. I'll show you how I heft a sword. My sword flows around more names like water. Each strike chaining fluidity into the next a series of perfectly timed attacks. He counters with a fierce hail of quick slashes, almost cutting me down repeatedly. My form's excellent, his is incredible. We're just neck and neck. And Silver Knight, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. All three of these options are a low increase to likelihood of success. I could try to tire him out. I gain stress because I'm lazy. <laughs> Why am I even dueling then? Yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's tire him out. Okay, the sun needs to stop this today. I don't know, like, what the camera is even doing today. <gasps> I win. But it's it keeps going like behind a cloud and then out from under a cloud and. It's blinding. I'm gonna have to get curtains. 
Taking my time, staying calm, mixing relentless parrying with infuriating dodges, I inexplorably erode my opponent's energy. To more names credit, it takes longer than I would have thought, but eventually the sheer duration of our belt begins to take a visible stance on him. I leave it for a while longer just to be certain, goading my foe to keep attacking with the occasional quick slash, then smack the axe from his hand with a single powerful cleave. He yields, and then careens face first into the grass. I am victorious. Due to sudden death. Yeah. So... I just won by default. I yield! I yield, father, no more, my son exclaims. I will stay here in court. She's not important enough... Uh, not uh, more important to me than my life, he says. He looks disapproving. Finally, it seems more names is seeing reason. So, he gains a mellowed spirit. He gains a parent's plus 20 increased prestige. No, I don't care what they do. Default. Rigged. Rigged. No more names. Okay, so are we making witches? Is that what's happening? Oh, look! Look who I'm in the middle of converting to. Okay, so let's see about... Where we're going to next. I would like to at least maybe create the title before I die, if I can. Wait a second. Can we do electives? Can we do electives? In England? Hmm. By their very nature, tick meets can be extremely boring. Tempers don't. Player, no one gets dramatic, and then it's just a long list of low-ranking freemen discussing petty affairs and standing out in the rain. Yet, as king, I'm required to be here, growing older every second, watching the men of Estradaler, 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 talking to each other to death, wishing for a war to save me from this living hell. Oh, check this out. I'll lose stress because I'm lazy if I daydream about strategy for five years. <laughs> Or I could just take a nap and lose 105 stress because I'm lazy. <laughs> Lazy's kind of an interesting trait. There's warring going on everywhere. Okay, so let me see where the bulk of England lies now. So many events. The guests of the blood are so numerous, they blanket the area around the temple, sending up a cacophonous roar as a mighty column of sacrificial animals are herded to the altar. One by one, pigs, cattle, and horses are each brought forth, throttled to death, and drained of blood. We cook the meat, paint the temple, a spectacle worthy of the gods. We're gonna rub shoulders with the common muck for less the popular opinion. Okay, all the way up to here. I'm pretty sure that that's about where my... No, I did have a little bit of whales, don't I? Seems like this is probably the next biggest chunk we can move for. The 304 soldiers and two alliances. Allied to a duke? He's got a pretty big army, actually. I'm not worried, but... If I... They combine me! They do put up a good fight. Let's go for them. The bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening after a long day of training. My tankard is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow. And all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along with my cider. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Georgius's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days. And their fighting is scaring off staff and guests. I don't really need to hire mercenaries. Uh, my army is 18,000? Expunged bandits. Wait, what's my popular opinion at in Chongheim? 106. Ah! Because of my prowess skill, I can say they're too drunk to be a real threat. This will be over quickly. We can expunge bandits for popular opinion, plus get mercenary respect and martial lifestyle experience. And so mercenaries be 20% cheaper to hire. Forever? Forever. 
Okay, let's see if we have anything that we can push. We can invade a kingdom. We can invade a duchy. Is there a way if I can like just very quickly see if I have any claims to push? I have a claim here. Oh no, I have no such thing. None of my vassals have a claim that I can push. So I'm gonna have to go duchy by duchy. <sighs> well, that's fine. So then we should probably... The Kingdom of England? Doesn't the menu tell me? Yeah, but I don't want to click through it one by one. <laughs> I think I will c contest for the Duchy of York. It'll be easy peasy. It should be like a one hit KO. <laughs> okay, so let's raise the men at arms, which I actually meant to. Whatever. <laughs> I'll just go straight to West Riding. Hey, Colder. Claims are listed on the character under titles. Yeah, but what I mean is, like, see all these individual pieces of land. Is there a way to view that without having to click each individual person? Each individual land blob. Title. Cannot force more names to see the truth, but I have done all I can to open his mind to it. All right. A new novice. There's no way I'm able to make witches, okay? Like, we have so many people. We're at the 30... Closest I've made it is 44%. Everett doesn't have the witch trait. He has a witch secret known by me. Oh, okay. Hmm? <clears throat> okay, real quick. Let's focus on the witchcraft thing. So we just converted more names. Landerous Fiend, my son. This is Dice Cocoon as your guardian. You are currently studying learning? Would actually be kind of bad to take his guard. Oh, wait, but I'm a genius. I think it's fine to remove the guardian because I can just make myself his guardian and then I can convert him into a witch. Craving Carbonara, I'm going to convert him into a witch. I never gave you. Is child number two a witch? Okay. So, there. Yeah, we do need to give everybody witchy guardians. That'll help. Oh, and that's how they become inducted. Ah, uh, yeah. Is she a witch? She is. All right, so why don't you educate your first son, Bacon? Can I sort by witches? <laughs> you can highlight them by scrolling over the claim and find them under your character's title. Oh, I think I know what you're saying. I think I know what you're saying. Is Dice Cocoon a witch? Is indeed. Okay. Then proposal, Onik. Again, I really like the name Onik. <laughs> I don't know why. And under rigged is not a witch.
Okay, this is gonna be the easiest way, I think. Everd's a witch. Four names is a witch. Oops, 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 oops. Let's see. More names, more names, more names. So we want to stick with people who are geniuses, right? He's already a witch. I'm surprised they don't convert their children. Okay, Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah. Outbred. Outbred's not a witch. I also don't know if Floss and Noss and blah, 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 is a witch. You can sort by Dynasty. Which trait in the character finder? Oh, that would be really, 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 really helpful. Can a switch? No. Actually, let me have Everd. He's 16. You're 11. I'm gonna have Everd do that. And oh let's let's choose double bacon cheeseburger spouse while I have a moment. Here we go. Find you a spouse. You're gonna take an early night today. Okie dokie Tom, have a super good sleep. It was lovely hanging out with you. I'm sorry that. All your CK threeing didn't go very well, but I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good one. Seems good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have Baylor, 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 Baylor. <sighs> Many people. <laughs> okay, I don't know actually. Twenty-three. Waffle. Wait, who's who's Waffles' guardian? That's will not accept. Why? A foreign court. Or in court. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, fine. Fine, Waffle. You don't you don't need to know the truth anyway. So I didn't educate you. Mainly because I was trying to just get the older children. Oh, here's Baylor. Let's do Flossa some blah. blah. I need to convert Floss. And then Baylor as well, because I'm gonna set set Baylor as your guardian. And then Wizards needs to be converted. I will set. Sure, Baylor can be. So we need to convert Floss and Baylor. New big grump? Oh my god. I'm sorry, you're so grumpy, Tom! May you have the sweetest of dreams. <laughs> okay, here they come. Oh, yeah, I'm at war. Oh, we need to convert somebody right now. Let's start with Floss. Maybe you'll be lucky and Floss will already have been converted. I don't think he's part of my immediate family. <laughs> Tom, get good! Uh, maybe, maybe get good dreams. How about that? Tom, get good dreams. Ok, 
Okay, just, you know, shout at me if you see Floss. His name is like Floss uh, or something. What in the world? Oh no, my name, this whole sentence died from being sickly. Okay, let's do it this way. <laughs> Find a character. Uh, can I not search this way? Character finders. Search by name? Is there a way to search by name? This is ridiculous. Okay, top realm, no, let's say my realm, first off, and then sort by Shankia. So that's already, oh wait, and then I can search, search by witch, right? <laughs> okay, nobody is an outed witch. Can I sort by name instead of rank? In sort by age, though, that at least puts them all in an order. What the heck? Why are some of them grayed out? They're all grayed out. Holy moly. How do I find a specific character? Find character. Search sort by age. First name matches Floss. Here we go. Found you! Oh, he's not part of my house. That's why I couldn't find him. I still need to convert him to witchcraft. Eight people have joined... ...game. Uh, Gaius and Jodicus, thank you both for the follows. Welcome, welcome! Another child. Raxel has chosen the name. Ortley Gray. Right, that was complicated. <laughs> You would think having more people on the scheme would make it go a little faster. But I think installing words for everybody will make this go a little quicker, but then you see how they keep having children? This is the problem. Okay, Lat-Tur-Alus. My granddaughter, Pope Nomer, has given birth to La Lateralus, Apicy Dismantler's son. A secret has been exposed. My vassal has had an extramarital affair. Oh. It's, don't I have an issue with this guy? I do have an issue with this guy. Guards! This crime cannot go unpunished! Arrest this man! Oh, look who can't join a faction now. Thief does cuddles! You're in a faction against me. I thought we were friends. Okay, let's... Looks like I can... bribe everybody again. Oh, yay! It's Dave! Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome! <laughs> Vicious. My granddaughter, Wizards, has given birth to a son, Flossy. Okay. <sighs> I'm 
I'm I'm worried about you all today. Chunk Mick Chunker Sun. Courtesy of Alistair. Older, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. <gasps> She's got the hook on me. That's bad. Just miss hook. You can just miss a hook. Whoa, that's pricey. Fifteen hundred prestige. <gasps> Fayetmar has been murdered. Oh, Odin, how could you do this to Thayatmar if I have sinned? Why did you not punish me instead? That's kind of a bummer. He was... Well, he wasn't my heir. Also... Look at this. Okay. She's a genius, bred an innocent bystander, he was a genius, and a giant, but their first kid ended up a genius, but their second kid was only quick, their third kid- okay, never mind, she's a genius too. Spider-Man just got no trait. Okay, well I guess he's dead. So let's see if we can learn some secrets in my court about what just happened. There's been murder. <laughs> Red room. <laughs> yeah, why why do I keep typing everything backwards? A little unusual. I captured the Earl's wife. Not worth war score, so let's ransom her off. Oh yeah, you can stay there. A prisoner. This feared. A fornicator. So I guess I put them in jail together. Landorus Fiend seemed to be enjoying our latest feast immensely. He got along quite well with everyone he spoke to, even the adult guests. This is Gregarious. Son and Ward. Yeah, it never hurts to be friends. Be, be Gregarious. She is zealous and will not be converted. I don't know what to do with you. Like, should I just... I don't want her in my prison. My spy master come to me a commoner is plumbing against my prisoner. Okay. Stop it. Stop having so many children. Okay, it's... What's their name? Chonkia. What's their name, Chonkia? I have more prisoners now. <laughs> I think we just had a battle when I wasn't even looking. And call on my ally. Don't need to. No, the Earl can just stay in jail. Uh, I just lost the siege. Wait, what What was lost? The siege of Warwick. I'm not even sure what that is. My wife has a secret. It seems she's been starting to see the truth of the false god Tengri. The non-believer. Oh, right here, Warwick. Go there. Witchcraft induction! 30... 34%. Hmm. Okay, this is- this is perfectly fine. She used her... strong hook... to reduce her feudal contract. Although that- you can use it over and over again, can't she? All right, Flossie. You joined the coven. A new novice. GG, Flossie. Happy to have you. 
Okay, so next I said I was going to convert Baylor. It only changed the contract once. Anyways, well, I was worried that she was going to force her way onto my court. 33.6. How is that not increasing at all? <laughs> I just got two new witches. I'll never have a coven at this rate. I already knew this. <laughs> he literally already told me this, thank you. My son, more names, has a secret lover named Mare. The person he tried to run away with. Oh, look, I can go take this too. I think I'll need to take both. Oh, never mind. That's all I needed. Cool. The Duchy of York will not be created by this war, but I do get it. We want the Norwegian Conquest. So be it. Alright, look at that! Norway grows! Only a little bit more land to eat up. Just a little bit more! <laughs> hmm... We haven't really been raiding, have we? Just a wee bit more. Kingdom of England. It's con a considerable amount of land. Unfortunately, because we can only do it like piece by piece. I understand you're interested in deepening your grasp on warfare, Chief Cuddles. Puts a hand on her heart as she approaches me. I might be able to help you see the battlefield in new ways. She is well known for her mastery. It says his, but Cuddles is definitely a woman. She's well known for her mastery of military engineering. If there was one who could help me, it would be her. <laughs> It'll teach me military engineer, which is super nice. Please teach me that. That's reduced siege time. We don't have to wait for Cassius Belly. Yeah, we can just take everything because we can. I took Craving Carbonara out to play with a bow and to my surprise, he ran into a wounded doe. He later lashed out, thinking it, I had staged the whole thing. This poor kid, pensive, lazy, paranoid. To make him lazy and ambitious? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I mean, sadistic isn't much better either. No elf twitch, I still haven't drawn your name. <laughs> still haven't drawn it. Time for you to go to bed, Nos Nos. Have a super good sleep. It was great to see you and hang out with you today. Good night. Please have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Wednesday tomorrow. Once the kingdom of Norway. Chiefess Grima, my half sister. Hold on. Why wouldn't you just vote for her in the elective? <laughs> mm hmm. Hey, let's buy everybody off again. Already sent her a gift. Ah, remember Duke Egfrith? He finally died, and his son took over. He really dislikes me. He wants to sit on the council. Unreformed, tribal, impatient, but he's blackmailed, so he can't join these factions. Good. How was your name so that I don't know, Elf Twitch? 
It is with a glint in his eyes that my champion, Oof, approaches me. My lord, I couldn't help but notice the fine craftsmanship of your illustrious male. However, only a true expert of the battlefield like myself could identify the tiny adjustments that can make it an even more effective tool of war. I tuned him out while he starts rambling about symmetry, balance, and edge consumption, but I get the general gist that Oof could improve my artifact. <laughs> Okay, fine, do your thing. Dun, 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 dun. Someone converted to my culture. Awesome, how is the cultural acceptance going? Um, to check that, I click here, and then we click Anglo-Saxon. We're at 5%. <sighs> Done today. I don't want quality air in my fam- Air- Airs? Quality airs in my family. <laughs> oh no. Murderers. A whole lot of them, they're murderers. The time has come. Baylor, join us! Join us, yeah! GG, Baylor. Alright, what number are we at now? 35.71. Each person I'm recruiting gives me less than 1%. Feels bad. <laughs> Aunt Mar was... Wait, who was... I need to find him a spouse. I need to go through and find everybody's spouses. Um, spoonful of peanut butter. Let's find the... Where's Goswin? Let's have Goswin educate those two children, so they'll join us. So, Theomar had two wards. I don't know who they were. Odadile, Oh. Imprisoned? Is that the Earl's Court? Oh no, Totodile. <gasps> Wait a second. At my court. Why are you there? Countess Bread. Is at the Earl's court. And she has a new spouse. She is already a witch. Okay, so I'm not sure who he was, uh... Competent? Vassal Dice Cocoon's son. Competent Vassal Dice Cocoon's son. Oh, he already is a witch! Oh, awesome! I need to marry everybody again. It's that time. I've got to find everybody spouses. Let's turn on like speed one and roll. My granddaughter, my courtier. They are related. Early though. Okay. So. Who to converge? I don't know who's who's a witch in this family and who's not. It's really troublesome. <laughs> really quite troublesome. Let's convert her to witchcraft. Although she's not in our house, is she? Nope. 
that sounds spooky. Whatever just happened sounds spooky. Okay, let's, uh, nope. 27%. Incible is already a witch. Apparently a jester now. Already a witch. Already a witch. Already a witch. Offer guardianship. Oh yeah, that's right. He won't do it. 95%. I found somebody. It's bedtime for you, Ella! You try to fall asleep to my lovely voice. Well, I wish you luck. Sleep well. Have great dreams. Someone's plotting to kill my champion. Oof! Truth can marry. Okay, let's poke around family tree a little bit. And find the marriages to set up. He's intelligent and comely, so maybe we can marry him to someone intelligent. Betrothed. Okay. Here's the thing. Oh, tool tool tips. I were to marry two tooltips to somebody completely unrelated, but with great skills, if they would end up having nice children. Oh, well, there's not a lot of options, are there? They are related? They're related. They're not even in the same house. I don't know who's who anymore. This is really a problem. <laughs> I thought I was okay. Everyone's related. Yeah, this is getting troublesome. I sent it anyways. Well, maybe they'll be pure blooded or something. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of just doing this for science right now. So there was I saw that a genius where I cleared it and I regret. Oh, that's my granddaughter. <laughs> there was somebody completely unrelated who was a genius. Although that might be a match better made for somebody. The genius anyway. He's 14. You're gonna have to roll the dice. Yeah, so... I wonder if they're actually doing genetics in the background. I think that they are. Yes. So that's why I'm... kind of trying to see if if we do, like, somewhat okay marriages for those four, if, like, their children will end up being epic. He is possessed. Why does this keep happening? Also, there's an event. Let me do that real fast. Oh! Another child! <laughs> another child. Hey, Fiddler. Not Figgler, Fiddler. Let's find you a spouse. <laughs> okay, so he is a genius and handsome, so... <clears throat> if we were to arrange some sort of marriage with intelligence, then I think that trait would very likely be reinforced. Will not accept a matrilineal marriage. They're related! Ugh. Sigh. <laughs> Your 
they're going to be related. I mean, they're part of a different house. It, it should be fine, right? I think so. He's not a genius? Well, it's probably fine. Probably fine. <sighs> Oops. I kind of wish that you could open the dynasty tree and still do things in the game. Without having to close it. Right. Because these events keep popping up and pausing the game. Okay, that's betrothal. The game says don't you get it up inbred if the chance is like 0 0.01. Okay. Yeah, apparently Goswin, he ended up inbred. And I guess that was saying that the chances of that happening were really low. Now all his children are inbred. <laughs> uh, so like all, all the other children ended up being pretty decent, actually. Except Goswin. Poor Goswin. Yeah, before I die, I would like to set up all the betrothals and everything. Educate child. I. I do kind of wish I could sort by people who I know are witches. Even though I can't do that. Maybe I can, like... I know their witch secret, but it's not an official trait I can search by. Nice, he will accept a matrilineal marriage, perfect. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Bullying. Mr. Puppy, you're bullying me again. <laughs> Stop doing that. I've been marrying people in the family for like eight generations at this point. We have 50 out of 1k dynasty members that are inbred. Whoa. Secrets tab. Yeah, but I can't search it through here. Or like when assigning. Wait. Hold on. Hold on to that thought. Can't marry you. Off. Yeah, Mwahaha. Okay. Let's see. Find you a spouse. The name was Sesik. Sesik. There you are. Seski. Hope there's a, another event that popped up. Oh, it's marriage. That's how all the marriage things come through. It's officially reached the high for you today. A staggering negative 37 Fahrenheit. That's chilly. Music's intense, I know. I like it, though. Okay, let's find you. Coat dial can't do anything here. Bacon. So we do have a, a lot of people who are wardening the children, so we should end up like with a bunch of witches in a few years, I think. Oh my gosh. 
Attempted murderer. I'm gonna open this dynasty tree and then another event's gonna pop up. <laughs> I will accept your marriage proposal. <laughs> Thanks. Please let the game keep running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about a JSOG. Don't worry. Yeah, the Mongolian uh, fusion metal was pretty cool. It was Mongolian folk music fused with heavy metal. It was pretty neat. I don't know that like that's what I would search out myself, but. <laughs> as far as, like, fusion metal would go, but it, it was certainly interesting. Yeah, the who? The hue. Anek. I really like the name Anek. I don't know why. I just like how it sounds. Onek. Onek. You are beautiful. Did a song in a Fallen Order game. I saw that they're like a... pretty recent group. They're very successful for how... Young of a... of a group they are. Hi Ashley! How's it going? Okay, one by one... One by one, we'll sort this out. <laughs> Before dying. Okay, cool. They'll accept that. Happy Tuesday to you. How are ya? Okay, I might stream a little long today, unless I'm forgetting about some sort of obligation I have. No, I have, like... Wait. It is Tuesday. But it's not... It's not a Tuesday where I have to leave early. I'm tired of being cold. I can understand. <laughs> I can certainly understand. It, are you able to turn on the heat or something? You're still hungover three days later. Have you been drinking enough water? Speaking of... Alentre. Get me more water. Not listening. <laughs> Any more water, please? Please, 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 Thank you. Okay, betrothed. 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 Oh, problem. Okay, well, she's, she's, uh, she's barren. I don't know how we know that, like, a three-year-old kid is barren, but I don't really want to know the answer to that. Let's find a spouse for you. Mortally Gray. All the water you think is because you normally don't drink like ever. So I've been trying to drink more water and it's not easy. Mainly because I just like kind of forget to do it. Oh, they won't accept a matrilineal marriage. Ooh. Who did this? Did I do this? Is that me? Oh no, craving carbonara is sick. Oh. Let's find you a spouse. You have a gallon jug full of water near you that you can recup fill your cup from. Not a bad idea, except I would spill that everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, I tell ya.
It seems like my diplomatic range is increasing a little bit. Either that or, like... My extended family is having extended family. Which is making it... So that better traits... Are... Popping up in, like, these generations. Because it seems to me like we have a lot more options to choose from. This is my son. My son. Genius. Yeah, genius and giant. He didn't get either of those traits. But... They are... In the algorithm, right? So maybe if I were to marry him to a giant? Nope. What about a genius? Nope. <laughs> Looks good. I do drink water, but not usually alcohol. Yeah, I don't either. Hello. There you go, Elf Twitch. Quality air. May you grow to be strong and wise and find a spouse right now so I don't have to do it again later. <laughs> I would like to reinforce the beautiful trait, but so she doesn't have many options. Sometimes there's more than others, and I don't know why. My great grandson. There's no choices. I'll hold off. Don't forget the mentor. Right. The mentor. I did. I did forget. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum. that was whose kid? Quality. <sighs> I can't keep track. <laughs> Quality air, uh, that... Mm. <laughs> I don't know who that was. All right, Slanderous Fiend is... is a learning challenge. Let me help with that. Patronage. 90% chance Slanderous Fiend becomes a witch. JSOG's milking the pun. I'm above my domain limit. Yeah, let me put spouse back on manage domain for me. Okay. Nice. Nice! Witchcraft inductions! We are sitting at... 35%. It's not going up, I'm telling ya! It happened last time. It's just like, once the dynasty gets out of control, it gets out of control. Really have to make sure that everybody gets a mentor that's going to induct as many children as possible. Can't do it all yourself. I have so many prisoners. What the heck? Oh my gosh! The man who plotted against my son. He's a murderer, my champion. Murderer! I could blackmail him. Or I could expose his secret. I could just expose it. If he's milking the pun, it's butter by now. <laughs> I actually really love Reese's, like, candy. Like, what reason did he have to do this? <laughs> I 
This is an act of tyranny. I think I'm just going to blackmail him. Rain! Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to have this person renounce their claims. All right, the Earl. I can banish you. This is an act of tyranny. Hey, you stay there. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh, my champion is taken to the search to Ming. <sighs> so we have to have a talk with him, maybe. Mm, let's sit down and have a talk. 67% chance that every courtier and guest is going to gain 20 opinion. Let's we imprison him. I imprison you, and then I'm going to negotiate your release. I'll not accept. You banish him. Okay, banished. Wait, no, that was a <laughs> that was a pretty good warrior that I just banished. <laughs> well, I just banished someone who was pretty decent. <laughs> All for eating the fish. It exposed him, put him in jail, torture him to death. He killed our son. Not tyranny once it's exposed. Probably should have recruited that guy. Just demanding everyone's conversion as they leave my jail. They're out. Can imprison somebody. So who's the person that I have the I have so many hooks on people. I have so many hooks! Which power? No... kidding. Where's the person who, who's the murderer? Where's the murderer? Aha! Expose! Hmm. Imprisoning him will not succeed. Well, at the very least, he's been exposed for who he truly is. Witch power? The witch power, of course. Okie dokie. So, next, I need to go to war again. So... Oh, this is de jure, a part of my title. I have a bunch of claims here that I could push. Conquer the Dutch... Oh, no, I can't. I gain the county. I don't... Hold on, who's in a faction? Hardly anybody. This is working out. Off to the fun gin. Yeah, no, they're not actually. <laughs> I would like to put them there, but they're not. The time has come, replace number 42. I hope you see the truth. I feel like you're letting the murderer get off easy. A new novice. Okay, I've showed my true self. He will leave my court, but he's really good. He's got a 32 prowess. 
I already banished somebody for like hardly any reason whatsoever. <laughs> also, he's not important to me. <laughs> Just, okay, Everett is still in the lead. Let's see. They're in the negative gold. North Umbria! Doesn't anybody here have a claim? Hmm. An adventure. V Varan... Varan... <laughs> I never know how to say this. To the rowdy King Totodile. Your big hands are the balm for my weary soul. I only wish to hear your voice again. That I may know your if your prowess carries off the battlefield. Please be my Cleopatra to my Marcus Antonius. These lines are but a bleak reflection of my feelings for you. I will do anything to prove my loyal affections. It's not a very good poem. End this foolish endeavor immediately. Don't enjoy your poem. Let's declare war. I do have a few claims. I just need to figure out who I'm going to give it to. I can also seize this because it's de jure my title for some reason. It only cost me 50 prestige to place do this. I guess I can then give it to whoever has a claim. I just need to like commit to memory that Countess Aethlid, she's a murderer, not her. Countess Aethlid, yeah. Herefordshire, Earldom of Herefordshire. Okay, hold on to that one, okay? I'm going to declare war, but it's gonna to be too many domains, so I need to give it up. <gasps> I just found out my son's a murderer too! Oh my gosh. My family! They're the worst! <laughs> my family's the worst! Hmm, we might want to actually raise more than just my men-at-arms. It's not as easy as, of a battle as I thought it would be. Alright, let's go. Let's go! I'm not afraid of you! Okay, I'm afraid of you now. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. Nah, we can do it. We can do it. How am I surprised? Murder is running through my family, and cannibalism is as well. We're not cannibals, we're just witches! <laughs> Duh! <laughs> okay, so that was who? Competent Vassal is already a witch. 47% chance you become a witch. Because you're craven. Shouldn't I get a bunch of people helping with this game? Zero agents. Okay, let's abandon that. Open up the dynasty tree once again. Yeah. Ooh, 27%. They don't really like me. So I think I've gotten like my whole immediate family, right? All these children are being... Yeah, they all have guardians and everything who are witches, so I, I'm pretty sure anyway that they, like this whole line of children should become witches. <laughs> Fairly certain. 
Educate child. Let's set up another guardian for you. What about outbred? Convert to witchcraft. 95%. Okay, yes. So let's set up your guardian as outbred. You have a guardian. You don't have a guardian. So we'll do... Outbred. All right. Hmm. Unbelievable. Somebody's a bastard child. Unbelievable. All right, I'm currently under siege. I'm not as worried about it because if I take their capital... It's like one duchy compared to my whole kingdom. Hi, Holland. I don't know. You just cuddles has shown me the ins and outs of siegecraft. As we stand perched over a mini fortress, my final test is to describe how I would most efficiently seize it. Let me have my wife help me with Marshall for a moment. 75% chance of victory. And I become... A military engineer. Arbitrary. Wow. I think I've turned Craven Carbonara into like an exact replica of me. All right. I hadn't considered that. She puts a hand to her heart. She cannot find a single flaw in my plan. I am now a military engineer. Oh, well, heck yeah, which means I siege like 30% faster. <laughs> Still pretty down. Where, where, okay, where's Frisia? Is bad. Uh, oh, right here. Is bad at, ge at geography. They're doing fine, it seems. Meanwhile, we are getting sieged. Yeah, I'm not too worried. Because we're about to take their entire county right here. Slanderous Fiend has come of age. They sure grow up fast. Chosel fulfilled. Heading for my chambers to enjoy some blessed sleep when I hear a faint rustle from the window. Just the wind, I think. The wind starts to speak. Fair child, open up, my petal. It is I, Bothvar. Push the shutters open, shutters open, and lo and behold, a man has climbed up the spare window's child. It's my vassal. Have you no shame? <laughs> Okay. I thought this was going to be the in... Yeah, I've been called to war. <laughs> I thought that was going to be the entire county. I guess not. In the Netherlands. That's in the Netherlands. Literally almost under the sea. Yes. I've been there. Okay, I've gotten a trait from Minute Arms Counter Efficiency. I think that's going to help with battles. Meaning, my men-at-arms will counter more efficiently. So that means my smaller army, made up of all men-at-arms, will probably perform better than their larger army. Which is largely composed of levies, so despite my numbers being smaller... I'm clicking here. Like, their numbers here are made up of nearly 1.4 thousand levies, and they have a few men-at-arms, but my entire army is, like, just men-at-arms. <laughs> so, now that it, they even counter more efficiently, effectively, so... It'd be good. How was my visit? Pretty nice. I had a good time. It was a long time ago, though. <laughs> Valendiel. Valendiel. May you grow to be strong and wise. Yeah, so they're coming to attack. Oh, wait. Ugh, I closed it. Whose kid was that? 
<laughs> I should have done the spouse and the education thing while they were open. Here you are. That was easier to find than I expected. Um... Yeah, I mean, I can do it. That's fine. I'm 69! <laughs> nice! Find a spouse. Intelligent... ...and pretty. Alright, so we want a matrilineal marriage. Arranged by age... My filter. Hmm. How about this? Okay, accepted. You wrecked an army of three point five thousand with twenty eight knights. Well, yeah, they are supposed to just be like peasants with pitchforks. So. Wow, I captured the war leader. Okay then. A hundred percent war score for capturing the war leader. Looks like I cannot ransom anybody off. So let's go ahead and win the war. So I gained the contested county. Oh, I didn't actually get too much land from that. I thought I was going to pick up more domains that I couldn't hold. But I'm at war somewhere else too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. I'll go help with this. Is that what they're trying to take? Wait, what's the war target right now? I love this little, little tyke with 20,000 soldiers. <laughs> yeah, they must love having me as an ally, huh? They must love it. Unlike most American tourists, I actually remember my visit to the Netherlands. What, because of the whole uh, marijuana thing? It's mostly legal throughout here. In the U.S. What did I do and see? Well... I saw a lot, actually. <laughs> My wife will no longer stand poor Shadow's company. Shadow. I will trust you to take care of her in my stead. My friend Grand Prince Orban sends a black cat! <gasps> Pet kitty. I will treasure the black cat! Oh my gosh, murderers. Murderers. Lovers. They all abound. I died at 69. Nice. <laughs> King Totodile of Norway has crossed the door to the world of the spirits at 69 years of age. He died of old age. Although quite famous for his sharp intellect, he could still not outsmart hell. King Everd ascends to the throne, towering over his enemies on the battlefield. Everd will have no problem inspiring his troops. Did I hold on to the titles? Yes, okay, good. Phew! I died of old age. I'm good. I have a small, small problem. Now I have to discover all the witches again. <laughs> I have to discover all the witches again. No!
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna give up on this whole witch thing. 1.63%. Am I a witch? Well, yeah, we are. Okay, so we are King Everd. We are beautiful, intelligent, we're a giant. Oh, with a prowess of 39? We probably need to divorce our wife. I mean, let's set up the council again. I actually really wasn't prepared to die right then. Right, let's put this guy on the court. I chose him because the other person who was suited for the job is quite old. Just putting powerful people on, on the council for now so they don't get upset. And then a spy master. Perfect. She has the secret on me? Oh no. She is, she found that. Wait. But wait, what's my secrets? Hooks on me. Yep, that checks out. <laughs> yep. Okay, her hook is that my character is gay. Checks out. <laughs> this is me. Sexual orientation, homosexual. All right. So, we're gonna- oh, and also murdered somebody. What did I do that for? I am three. Limits above my domain. Oh, what's- oh, we're diplomacy this time. We are a diplomat. We are a patriarch. I don't want to reform the faith, the lemon duck, because I am working towards an achievement currently. And if I reform it, then I can no longer get the achievement. Might be best to keep my heirs witches and hope for a cadet branch later in the game. Yeah, probably. At this point, it's, just, it's really getting out of hand. Am I making per month? Negative 1.4. Because of raised armies. <laughs> I get 0.5 for being a giant. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, my lifestyle will be diplomacy. I'm just trying to decide if I want to go for majesty or foreign affairs. I think I want to go foreign affair. The additional one prestige per month could be nice, but I'd rather get diplomacy plus three. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so yeah, we're the person with not very good children. That's okay because none of my children have to be my heir. Let's set. Who's the court physician? Child number two. Okay, yep. I'm going to... Divorce her! You are divorced! <laughs> I need someone who can help me with stewardship. She has some children... Medium. She is generous, cynical, and stubborn. I lose 300 prestige, but prestige really isn't an issue. Let's see, who can I... Okay, the 21 stewardship is like too good to pass up. A giant beautiful genius that's good at everything. Might think I even arranged it this way. Okay, so I captured the enemy combatants in battle and I died on the battlefield. 
I have to nominate a successor. Yeah, that's the problem, right? Who are... I have 58 candidates! Ugh! <laughs> More names, child number two's son. Is a genius, handsome, a berserker, and a giant. So that would be pretty easy to... Kind of convince everybody to vote. Callous, arrogant, and wrathful? That might be kind of iffy. Military strength. Some of all skills. Okay, I'm going to throw in with more names. For now. He just, on paper, seems like a pretty good option. Just in case I happen to die. That's for the title of Norway, but we also need to nominate a successor for the Kingdom of Denmark. <sighs> King Everd, the ostensibly straight. Get his four sexual partners. <laughs> hey! Whatevs! He can do what he wants. I am not here to judge. Although he is being judged by the person who has the hook on him. Okay, somebody was inducted into the... oven. So I just have to go through and uncover everybody again. Plus we're about to have like a lot of children. Okay, we're gonna try again. I really feel like they should be exposed to me as witches. Especially if you helped, like, with the scheme to convert somebody to witchcraft, I feel like you should know. Pretty sure he's already a witch, it says. Why did my levies go down so much? A reveal. Okay, there's one. <laughs> A faction has been created against me. Whoa, 162 opinion. Diplomacy for the win. 118 opinion? Yeah. I forgot how nice diplomacy is for just buying people off. I am gonna have to keep a list on paper. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We won the war. Okay, great. <laughs> oh my. Above my domain limit. West Riding, I wanted to give this to... <laughs> Just... Yeah, so I created somebody. I created somebody who is Anglo-Saxon. Luckily, they're a Satru. A Satru, but... They don't like me for reasons, so I'm going to bribe them <laughs> into liking me. Disband the whole army. Okay, so that's one holding that I'm over. And then there's this one. I actually... Yeah, I'm just going to generate somebody as well. I'm inventing people, basically. Yeah, just like, Bork, hey, are you still a witch? Hey. Every runestone tells the tale, tells the message of some significant event in the life of the commissioner. From the smallest peasant to the, to the king like myself, the stone records all. We shall definitely talk about Godadial. Oh, we're mourning him. Memorials to family like Todadial encourage respect and fealty. They are best place in an area that think little of me. Hmm. You know, I don't know. I don't know how popular opinions look in these places. 
Although, it should probably tell me from here. 160. 60. Popular opinion plus 20. I'm 60 here as well. And... 60 here! <laughs> I don't know. Let's put it... Let's put it there. I am fighting my own war about not... against not knowing who's a witch. Yeah, we also need to... continue warring for the Kingdom of England. And we're getting there. This place is growing. Uh, problem is... Oh, I can... do a Kingdom level war. I can indeed. I can declare war. No, I have to be exalted among men. I thought just illustrious. My opinion of the new DLC so far. You're debating whether or not you should buy it. Well, so I haven't really messed with it much, and I am trying to do... Um, like, mess with cultures and everything, but it's been tricky. I'm just enjoying playing the game altogether. 7% acceptance. I really want to form a hybrid culture. <gasps> it has to be 40, not 20. Oh, no. We're never going to be able to merge cultures. It's never going to happen. <laughs> Prisoners can be ransomed. I'm going to leave the one guy in there, though. I can declare 38 wars. But it wouldn't merging cultures validate the challenge? Even... Actually, I don't know. I already am promoting cultural acceptance. <laughs> It's generally considered a touch overpriced if you didn't get it with the bundled release. Yeah, so... I have definitely seen a lot of complaints that people think it's overpriced. For the content. Especially because a lot of the content can't actually be accessed. Like, if you start tribal, the royal court stuff largely affects a feudal playthrough, not a tribal playthrough. Like, I don't even have a royal court, because I'm not a feudal government. Alright, while that's happening, I need to continue picking up... The reveals are too quick! We need to continue picking up some places, so let's declare war here, and we can go for the duchy. I can't because we're not illustrious. Yeah, I am. Not. <laughs> I am not. Deadhead, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. The K3 is worth whatever they're charging. I can definitely see... Okay. Let me turn this down to, like, speed one, and just reveal everybody as witches, because I can't even finish digging through the menu to... ...try to figure out where I'm going to war <laughs> before the reveal happens. So this whole thing I have to get, right? I don't have... let's... okay, so let's go for this county. We just crushed her anyway, so we can declare war again. Raise my men at arms. <laughs> Content is all there. Hi, D&D boy. Thanks for the DSC merely unlocks some obvious UI things for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I've heard both ways. Like, some people really love it. And other people are not. Some people think it's overpriced. But like, this whole run that I'm doing, I've hardly even touched the DLC. My counselor died of old age. Yeah, I was thinking that would happen. Yeah, so we have been promoting cultural acceptance. It's taking a long 
time. All right, Double Cheeseburger has come of age. They grow up fast. I hope we're doing well, D&D boy. The new king looks like Mark Hamill. <laughs> Shrugs because I totally know who that is. <laughs> okay, my army's raised. Off we go. Hmm, the names are pretty good, I know. <laughs> the reveal. <gasps> Raven Carbonara lost his ward. Back from dinner, I think, lost... So no, okay, you didn't. So, we need to... That was the immediate family. Right? Double bacon cheeseburger. Already a witch. You, it, yes, if you do start your name like that, no one will ever mistake you for someone else. <laughs> Gasp, the reveal. This is like the third time I'm uncovering some of these people. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a pretty easy peasy battle. I feel bad because I just keep picking on her. The reveal. Who's commanding the army? Bad. My counselor died from his wounds. Dang. Okie dokie. Yeah, she didn't get captured this time. That that is true. <laughs> Holy warrior and a sapper. Basically saying that if they are of a different faith, we get plus 10 advantage. That is really nice. I actually think Pungent Master might not be a witch. I'm not wasting my time on you, Pungent Master. I think I said that the last time. <laughs> Because the reveal should come through, like, almost instantly. If they're a witch. So that was the top line, let's do the second line. Chose can marry! Send proposal! Alright, I win! And I seize an artifact! Ooh, enforce demands. Alright, so I wanted to give this to somebody else, because I don't want it. <laughs> oh, wait a second. If I were to just grant it to somebody, a cultural acceptance goes up by 0.5. I know you don't like me. It's okay, take some money. <laughs> Goodbye, Craving Carbonara! I think I went through and married everybody off, right? Okay, I'm gonna guess that they're not a witch either. Although... Game is gonna succeed, so we'll just go with it. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the, a local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of money. Been bragging loudly about a deal, a deal he struck with a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Apparently, he drew a map of the local plains for an unknown nobleman. I'm just gonna say thanks for bringing this to my attention. Hostile scheme resistance plus eight. Okay, so I have to continue going for counties. Covered wizard son. 
All right, first off, let's educate you <laughs> and find you a spouse <laughs> before you disappear. Ooh, they're not they're not related. Okay, then let's give you a name. <laughs> Why, Hodor? Trove can marry. Oh, look at them! They're so cute! Little one. You would like to enter a mutual alliance with me? I will accept. I don't think I needed to, though. I just like that someone wants to be... What do you want? Become the owner of prayers for a Catholic. Is this what I just... Yoinked? I mean, go go for it. <laughs> they can have it. My daughter, Wizard, has been quarreling with her grandmother, child number two, for days. I can... Just as... Uh, just now, I can overhear them arguing in the next room over. Unbelievable, Wizard shouts. How can a doxy like you believe you are the ideal miss? The station of the Chonkia family virtues. I am far more deserving of that distinction. Hmm, I do have 20 stress. I can let them sort it out themselves. Bodor's not even a giant. Hey, I mean, you're the one who entered the name. <laughs> Thank you, Iams. Okay, I exposed the secret. Please have a good sleep. And good night. I hope you enjoyed your Tuesday. Be well. A king's longship says much about him. It tells how rich he is, how successful, what image he wishes to project to the rest of the world. I look at my current craft and deem it lacking. As if to punctuate the thought, the piece of the rigging comes loose with a crack and the whole vessel creaks ominously as it redistributes the pressure. Wishing a new ship is simple enough, but a simple replacement... But is it good enough? Uh, don't I deserve the vessel that tells the world about me? A monstrous flagship. <laughs> Ooh, no. Let's get the Wyrmish flagship. Because I get diplomacy per level of fame plus two. Forever. <gasps> yeah. In life, dragon ship. <laughs> yeah, right? <sighs> I can only do this county at a time. No. Unless somebody has claims. Seize a Dejure county. At least it's cheap. As opposed to just conquering a county, it costs. Wait, no, a Dejer county costs more. Let's just cl uh, conquer a county. This is gonna take a long time. One county at a time. <laughs> Monthly prestige per dread. Am I dreadful? I'm a little bit dreadful. I am a berserker. So I sit at a baseline of 15 dread. Monthly prestige per dread plus 1%. So I would get an additional 15. That's super good. Additional 15 per month? What? Yeah, look at that. Plus 13. Right here. From firm hand. Oh, they actually have a really big army. <laughs> it's a pretty squishy army, so I think we'll still be okay. Although, I don't really have the bestest commander. A 
also I'm being raided. Over to Witchcraft. The time has come. A new novice! Wait, I probably... Whoa! We might lose this battle. Okay, nope. We're committed to this path. <laughs> Fun stuff. I'm sure this will be fine. Oh, they have 11,000 soldiers. Like, where do they all come from? It behooves a king to spend time at sea with the salty air in his face and a fine vessel beneath his feet. Today sees my personal craft and a small escorting squadron out for drills, practice, and pleasure. The short voyage has been an exhilarating change of pace from life at court when we spotted its doom of water, followed by a small island of wine dark flesh rolling out of the waves. A whale. Get the harpoons! I mean, we're actually doing really, really, really well. Oh no, my friend Cuddles died! Oh... I like combatant slain. I like combatant... More names! Jeez. I guess I'll just have to raise all. We'll have 19 champions. Like, I'm not too worried. <laughs> oh! Wait, I just realized we don't have a martial focus anymore, so, like, we lost the knight effectiveness. That's why I can't just walk in there. Yeah. I forgot to take that into consideration. So... My night effectiveness is 200. I think it was like 295 before. We do keep the night effectiveness of the perk. Lose advantage though. I did lose advantage. Plus my commander wasn't nearly as epic as my... King Totodile, you know? King Totodile was pretty awesome. Okay, Betrothed can marry. Let's have that happen. So I just converted Pestilence, right? Cuddles died. Boo, Cuddles, no! Johanna Senna, let's do it. The reveal. I abandoned converting Pestilence. No, I, I got a new novice out of it. Okay, how do you like me now? I brought the entire army with me. Somebody's plotting against my daughter-in-law. Okay, let's go straight for... I guess let's go here, actually. Oh, a dynasty legacy! A dynasty legacy! Gift givers. More likely to get trade events when raiding. Send gift cost minus 50%. The deuce success chance was 15. You gain prestige for sedu successful seductions. Oh, language scholar. Gain 1% cultural acceptance when completing a learn language scheme. So I could just have like 40 people in my dynasty learn a language and gain some cultural acceptance. At least that's how I understand it. Hey, Apod! What did you miss from yesterday? Well, King Totodile came into power and died. Now we're playing a new king! And we're warring for the Kingdom of England. Unfortunately, with Totodile's passing, I have lost the ability to declare duchy size wars. <laughs> we can do it soon. We're getting there. Most illustrious. And so I have to do this county by county. Wouldn't that require me to do... 40s? Oh, oh yes, and also the witches. <sighs> yeah, witches again. This is my third ruler that I'm trying... <laughs> I should really just give up. <laughs> like, I really should just give up. 
Bella Hunden. Hurt to witchcraft. Look, but I was so close. I think it would require me doing 40 schemes. I don't know. We're... I don't know. Well, no, no, no. So check this out. Wait, but which language would I pick? What language do you speak? I got really confused for a second. <laughs> for a second there, I just- I got kind of confused. Um... Okay, you speak Polish, I assume? How do I know what language I need to learn in order to raise cultural acceptance? They don't have the little language lips next to them. Does that mean they already know my language? Or we already know the same language? I picked that up, and but now that I think about it... Wait! Who put Goswin in charge? <laughs> who put Goswin in, Go Goswin in charge of East Riding? <sighs> Every time you've seen what just happened is either super early in the game or took a long time. They only know one language it doesn't show. Well, how am I supposed to know what language to learn, then? Anglic. I guess I just have to click- so I can get up to 5% cultural acceptance just by learning five languages in the region, I think. Yeah, it was partition. Mm-hmm. It's four o'clock, but... Parade of important locals from Nithiras have spent the day trooping through my hall, each one with a unique grievance against my mother. Some complain of her behavior, others her honor, but all agree on one thing, she is a disgrace. They want me to banish my mom. Hmm... But I can either choose to banish her... She's the core physician. I'm gonna say she's blameless. Although that does lower my popular opinion a lot, but I think it's gonna be okay. Go to the culture I want to improve acceptance with and look at what their language is. How are you doing, Sarlissia? Ah. Ah. Anglic. Oh. Oh, so I can only do it once. We're up to 10% acceptance. Yay! Unless I... What if I taught my kids the language? Does that count as a language learning scheme? Okay, apparently Sela Hunden is not actually a witch. As our order of the young Vikings, we need... Okay, yes, we'll give them more land. I don't know. <laughs> I just clicked on something. <laughs> so the... War declared. It's oh, they're really close to declaring independence. Hold on, let me. Uh, I've already sent you a gift. I've already sent you a gift. All right, not my artifacts. Send gift. I'm gonna buy them all off. 
Do the modest King Everett of Norway may live in harmony and contentment. It seems there is no recourse for our dispute other than to settle it on the battlefield. A foreign ruler. Petty Kingdom of the Northmen Army. I'm not sure who I'm at war with. Okay, someone declared war on me. I think probably for... Duchy of Mursa. Yeah, you can't have that. Sorry, I'm making a kingdom. Good night, the lemon duck! Sleep well. And be well. <laughs> we can laugh at them. A horde of just disjointed pirates, landless freemen, desperate lesser children, and assorted miscreants have joined the Istinger in his proposed assault against my holding. Although the size of the force is formidable, they lack discipline and loyalty with each scrounged mercenary focused exclusively on what they can get out of the war first and foremost. Unlike a conventional foe, it might be possible to simply deal with them directly. Perhaps a bargain be struck. Mm, I can't let him win the army though. Oh wait, he'll become my vassal. I would spend 350 prestige. We'll form a truce. We might form a friendship. Reprieve from Scandinavian adventurers. I will lose 39 strengths because I'm content and fickle. And he becomes my vassal. More our vassal! Everyone's my vassal! <laughs> Okay, before I do this, can someone confirm this? So, I have the option to settle this diplomatically. I can spend prestige. It's fine. Um, I would form a truce with him. But it says he becomes my vassal. So does this stay as part of my kingdom? Like, as part of my realm? I don't care if he takes it. I just, it just needs to stay part of my realm. And so if he's becoming my vassal, that's the... that's... Hey, Aether Renegade, yes? What's it good for? War! What's it good for? Okay. Now I have a friend? As if I gave him the title. <laughs> yeah, War would have made him my vassal anyway. But it's fine, I... I don't know. I'd rather just declare war elsewhere, you know what I mean? Because Erds has given birth to another child. Actually, a first child. Okay. I would say this kid did not win the gene lottery. That's, that's exactly my thought, though, Apod. We could just go to war elsewhere, it'll be fine. My Chancellor has proven himself highly capable, especially in matters of a diplomatic nature. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the chiefdom of Gona, my your blessing, of course. I'll take the prestige. Look, I don't care if I'm your vassal. Just let me keep my seat. I guess so. Hi, Zeros. Hello, hello. Okay, we're up to 78. Let's... Maybe attack this army right here? You saw me on Recommended for playing CK3, so you're just lurking. Well, I appreciate the lurk. I do. Yeah, my army's starving. Well, we'll see how it goes. We're good. Oh, loads of factions are. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Factions. Oh, they disbanded. Okay. I saw somebody is negative a hundred. My vassal. Ooh. 
really disliked me. But he still doesn't like me. Yeah, that's a religion thing, I know. 92%. My army's starving! Time has come. Convert to witchcraft. A new novice! Okay, so I'm finding some people who slipped through the cracks the first time through. Also, who was that? <laughs> that was Johanna Sena. Sina. Johanna Sina. Goswin, I've already converted, yeah. And Adelaide. More names. Stella Hunden. Outbred. I know Outbred's a witch. I do know that either. What are good, well aged English cheese types? You know, I don't know. Aylor has been murdered. Died under mysterious circumstances. Did not deserve this. What happened here? Very suspicious. Will you stop unseizing things? Just let me win. Just let me win, all right? A dangerous faction. Where did this come from? I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> okay, I've already bribed you. Luckily, I have loads of money. Okay. Everybody likes me now, right? Phew! A faction has been disbanded. Oh, look, a new faction has arisen. <laughs> vassals, vassals, calm down. Something is afoot. It is indeed. No, it's almost like we should probably put our spy master Tonkheim. Hey, stop! The court physician has died. Hey, okay. Well, Dice Cocoon, how do you feel about being a court physician? I'm gonna sway you so you don't kill me in my sleep. Hi, hey, Hizzle. I might want to make sure my spy master is loyal and has high intrigue. A good cup there will be nice, too. I have not even, like, appointed any of these. So I don't have a court, so, like, all of these positions I just haven't filled. My spy master, last I checked, is yeah, pretty pretty loyal. I'll just bribe him again. I'll bribe him doubly. Okay, I have a problem. I need to send my army back and resupply. Yeah, I'm really glad that that faction didn't actually. Disbanded, they disbanded before they pressed that because that would have been kind of hard to deal with. Also, they're definitely not resupplying because the supply limit. I have to split my army. Perfect. Okay, so we should be able to resupply here. And we should be able to resupply there. Yeah, it's already better. <laughs> They're gonna do the thing. And okay, now we're just undersupplied. So the supply limit is shown here. So like I can further split this. So here. And then further split this one. And go here. Because basically you can see as they're sitting here at these Okay. 
There's a lover situation. There's another kid situation. More kids, more problems. Numa? Kind of. This is a strange name, Mister Puppy. Numa. I'm also going to give you someone to educate you. I just can't remember who is a witch and who's not. Pretty sure they're a witch. Then proposal, and let's find you a spouse before you disappear into the dynasty tree forever and I never find you again. <laughs> oh yeah, no, wait. There we go. Oofson. Good night, Mr. Jerker Boy. Good night, good night. Please sleep well and have a great day tomorrow. Is what I was saying about the supply limit. You can see the size of my army here, and then inside the fortress, you can see the supply limit here. So that is how many soldiers can be housed at these locations to replenish supplies. So they have a red bag next to them now, meaning that they're undersupplied. And you also get like combat disadvantages from being undersupplied or starving. So Aw man. It unseeded everything. So pretty much I'm just resupplying my army. I'm gonna regroup it and go siege everything again. Happy Tuesday, HB, nice to see you. How are you? Foreign Affairs Effectiveness. Now, that would be nice. This would also be nice. Defensive Negotiation, Fellow Vassal Opinion Plus 15. Nim, 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 nim. Let's do that. <laughs> that seems to benefit, benefit us most immediately. And now I'm under siege. Okay, I'm gonna wait until we're no longer undersupplied. This is taking 30 days. Why is this so fast? Albrecht is definitely not a witch already. I don't know why that was so quick. New novice. Okay, I could have sworn I turned out bread into a witch already. So the benefit of having a coven is not too much in the short term. I think they get like a small health boost for being a witch. But if you can get a coven in your house, it is very useful. Or in your dynasty, I mean. If you can found a coven inside your house, you gain this Housewide, Witch Coven, which increases fertility, you get a small health boost, and also hostile scheme power and scheme resistance. And that's just like everybody in your dynasty. And it's hard to do though, especially as your dynasty grows, because you have to have 60% of your people in your dynasty converted. And so I started this two rulers ago, but basically when your ruler dies, you lose the knowledge of everyone who's a witch. So I have to rediscover everybody. Meanwhile, people are dying, who were already witches, and new children are being born who are not yet witches. So it just... It's... 60% in the house. Oh yes, the house. House Chonkia. Easiest to do early or with a cadet branch. Oh my gosh, murderers! A lot of them. Okay, let's send you here. Send you here. Hey, Slack! Hello! Thank you so much for the raid! How was your stream? Hello, hello, hello. What is the troop? I really hope that you had a great stream. It's lovely to see you. Thanks for bringing your people over to see me. Hello, I'm Jess. I am playing Crusader Kings. I can't get enough of it. I really like this game. 
<laughs> I don't want to be the commander. Yes. I mean, I guess I'll be the commander. Yeah, I don't know what the troop is. Tell us about it. What is that all about? It's a turn-based World War II infantry tank game. Ah, fun! Really hope you enjoyed it. Right, we're about to take this fort. Back up to 19%, so whichever one of these has the... Onagers. Oh, oh, Onagers. Whoops! <laughs> okay, apparently that can't be sieged. What about this? I have a hard time telling sometimes. This is a like a bishopric. There's no way that I can siege that. A barony can be sieged. Onagers. Maybe. <laughs> I've come to accept that I just butcher all the names. <laughs> Somebody else is not a witch. I'm like really surprised. I guess I skipped over them. Wizards has given birth to a son. Make sure to set a ward. Or set a guardian. Dice Cocoon is a witch. So if they you set guardians who are witches, they will automatically convert their wards. From what I understand. Reese? Oh, I get it. It's like reseeding re hairline. Reseeding hairline. Like reseeding hairline. Poor kid. Ah! I captured him! Okay, I win! Huzzah! Hey! My thick-skinned brother More Names has been released from imprisonment. He was actually my heir, so I'm glad that he's back. Let's double check the elections. More Names is still number one in both locations. Above my domain limit, so I just picked up. This. So, I learned about this fancy button. Instead of picking someone to rule here, you can just have the game generate somebody who is a local Anglo Saxon noble. Wow, that's not paused. Just hug. And a red! Thank you so much for the hug, and thank you for the 100 bits. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. How did I get here? You just click on the, the title. And you say grant to. And it's right up here. So when you do this, you increase cultural acceptance by 0.5. So every time I'm granting this, it's like incrementally closer to our 40% cultural acceptance. Although they tend to dislike me. And then I just... Bribe them with money. Want to leave prison? Think it's banned. So we're getting there. I just need to become. I am illustrious, so now we can go to war for duchies. We're gonna hold the blot. Although a smaller blot are held for many occasions throughout the year, through the year, once a decade, we come together for a grand celebration and a grand sacrifice. Everybody's invited. I'm gonna spend all my monies. Yeah, getting to Illustrious is hard. You just... it adds up over time. Wow, what is, like... Eating up my diplomacy right now? Oh, this is plus 15%, not plus 15 outright. Oh, it went back up to 9.7. Okay. <gasps> Oof! Try 
tried to kill Pope Nomer. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. Gosh, oh goodness. Okay, so I think we have time for like one more war. Maybe one more. <laughs> the time has come for Enema to see the truth. Converted to a witch. Nice job, Enema. You've seen the truth. Okay. Dungeon Master died from internal injuries. Did we already convert bread? Did. Go to dial. I feel like we should already find out that Yarl Chonky is a witch. Oh, right. We're going to say bring forth every beast or fowl. This event is very repetitive. I would read it to you again, but I'm kind of tired of reading it. <laughs> Basically, we're sacrificing all the animals. You can do humans, but because I have a lot of people in England as my vassals, they don't like human sacrifice. Yeah, it's famine backwards, so it's like enema F. Um, um, Aether Renegade and 420 Brazilian. Thank you. The follows, welcome, welcome. I, I see that 420. Welcome. Okay, so maybe she's not a witch. I thought she might be. Oh my gosh. I'm not even paying attention to the intrigue anymore. <laughs> Somebody wants help with a peasant uprising. Uh, Mr. Thunder, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Where is this peasant uprising? All the way over here. I think you got it. Looking at, at the state the state of things, I think you've got it. Oh, I'm not gonna get murdered. No, no, all is well. I can declare war for duchies now. Most of my gold and all my prestige was recouped. Why was the block canceled? Was it because I'm at war? Probably because I'm at war. I bet it's because we're at war. Yeah. Let's do it again! Yes, I won't declare war. <laughs> I'll wait for that to go through. That does help to increase popular opinion, so that's helpful. Heroes, enjoy the sleepy time! Thanks so much for being here. Oh no, my sister died. Twenty-seven point twenty-seven percent. The more I study the noble art of statecraft, the more I realize how beneficial good relations for my neighbors are. I ought to have one of them visit my court so I can show them how good of a friend I can be. But who should I invite? <laughs> Shrug. The Duke of Angria. King Sisman. Or High Chieftess Biela. Oh, uh, no. We're going to focus on appeasing our own vassals. As we get plus 10 direct vassal opinion. I think I kind of need that right now. Lovers. Yes, there is a make this person a witch button. Sort of. You have to convert them to witchcraft, so it's a scheme. It's a personal scheme that you form against the target. And people can help join, so like all these people are witches. Known witches. Counselor has died. 
of old age. Another faction has been created against me. Essence. Okay. Do this again. Bring forth a beast or fowl for every man. And are you? Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Murders, all of them. Be a new steward. We have a new perk already. Monthly prestige per night plus two percent. Embassies, learn language scheme plower plus 75%. Each alliance grants plus one diplomacy to a maximum of five. I don't even know. Do I want to be a gust or do I want to be a diplomat? No idea. Let's just get this first monthly prestige per night plus 2% because I have like 20 something nights. So. <laughs> Yeah, plus 40%. Plus 40% prestige per month from my Praetorian Guard. I didn't intrigue the skill I use to convert witches. Um, no. I don't actually think it depends on any skill in particular. I think this mostly depends on their relationship to you. So, like, here I've spent this time converting this person to witchcraft. So you say, I cannot force her to see the truth, but I've done all I can to open her mind to it. I pray to Freya that Jarl has connected to something in our innocent conversations and sacred texts I left in her chambers. Now I must go to her and extend the invitation to her communion, or give up on the endeavor. Hi, Omarie, nice to see you. And this is, <laughs> I, all I'm looking for is a new novice. Now I can finally show myself. Uh, another kiddo. So, educate. And so if you... If you put... A witch in charge of being the recipient's guardian, they will convert their ward automatically, fairly certain. So, it just, you know, takes like their whole life, or at least until they grow up, to become a witch, but at least that's happening in the background. Hi, Wispy Whiskers! Hello, hello! What can we do here? Hey, and I need a name. All right, the name chat has chosen. Alistair picked Kitty Gogo. <laughs> Open all minds with a well-placed broadsword. No, 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 that doesn't help us. We're... <laughs> that doesn't quite help. Jumbo Snaws? I don't think anyone's ever converted Jumbo Snaws. This pestilence convert to witchcraft. She already knows. I don't think any of these three have been converted. Let's focus on. Okay, wizards has already been converted. They've already been converted. Two tool tips. These. This group. Raffle name. I. I think this group of kids should have already been witches because of their guardians. You can't convert them until they're adults unless you're their tutor that is age 15. Yeah, so you you can be their you can be their ward. Sorry, their guardian, but you have to see them through to adulthood for them to become a witch. So what you could do is just take over being their ward, or sorry, <laughs> take over being their guardian at like age 14 or something, or you can just like assign somebody else who's a witch to do it for you. <sighs> okay. So who do we dedicate this sacrifice to? I think the people's grand sacrifice. We're gonna go rub 
shoulders with the common muck. For all the popular opinion. And look at that. See, the faction disbanded. I should probably read these a little bit closer. You had a one-armed dude send me send you a poem and the papers glitched? Really? I guess two tooltips. Not actually a witch. I just want to find the people who are like already witches. way to interact with. Leroy Chonkins is a witch? Oh my gosh, we can punish the Earl for his secret. Okay, we're gonna put him in jail and then we're gonna release him. For 50 gold. His stub arm is holding the paper. Oh. I see, that is kind of glitchy. <laughs> Okay, so we have the thing now, the blot, so I can declare war. For your duchy. I'm, it's getting to that point in the game where I'm not actually reading anything. <laughs> it happens. Which converting their ward an effect on the coven itself? Uh, I thought that if you put it... I thought if you put a witch in charge, it will automatically do it for you. They are converted automatically. But until then, I have to do the current method. can find people I need easily, but I'd like to know how. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I would. Yes, yes I would. My previous rulers knew who everybody was. Your chosen tutors can fail, so it's best to check any kid who didn't get raised personally. But there's so many of them, JSOG. There's so many. This is somebody else who wasn't converted. I guess they did fail. My cousin Invincible was slain in battle. Invincible! Legendary Shinkik's son. Did, did the legendary Shinkik's die out? I feel like the legendary Shinkakes died out. Ugh. Legendary Shinkik? No! Nope. They're still going. Oh wait, I know the this group over here are witches. I know it. I remember. The character finder, you can... Well, that only helps if they're a known witch. None of them are known witches, so that doesn't actually help. What about Victoria Shinkick? Yeah, I knew that group was witches. I knew it. None of them have the witch trait, so... That doesn't... actually work. Because they are witches, but they're not identified as a witch, so... Nobody is available. The reveal. Yes, I knew they existed. I knew it. They're just further out in the tree. Order Pounder. Did you ever become a witch? I have no idea what happened to Victoria Shinkick. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I could do secrets, but I have a massive kingdom. And my dynasty is... 109 people. <laughs> Plus they have courts and stuff, like... Uh, I feel like it's easier just to do it this way. That was easy. I did capture an heir. Spider Chonkia is a witch. Okay, I guess you're not. Quarter Pounder doesn't sound like I converted them anyway. I don't remember doing that. There are some names, though, that I just remember. Like, ah, yes, we performed a scheme on you. Pretty sure Pippa's a witch. Oops. I reveal! Yeah, Pippa. Look how old they're all getting. Like, I've been trying to do this for so long that they were young adults when I first converted them, and now they're growing old. So said Brett is a witch, too. Do my other witches try to convert others? Yeah, so in some cases they will help... Some people will join the task. I think they have to all be, like, in the sa inside the same court. So... Yeah, this is why this is getting confusing. Because look at these latest generations. I think Bobby's probably already a witch. I also would really like it if the dynasty tree would just stay... open. Yay! I win the war again! Woohoo! Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grant this to a local Anglo-Saxon noble for plus 0.5% cultural acceptance. And then again... Ah, uh, murderers! Oh, everyone. The court's made of murderers. Okay. We're getting there. Okay, I guess Bobby's not a witch. <laughs> Gonna abandon it? I'd rather just find people who are already revealed right now. Keep shrinking the tree. I don't think Spawn Hill is converted. Emperor? I don't think so. High Chieftain Fair? I don't think so. I heard Costco is a witch, I think. Once I have departed this world, my brother more names shall rule in my stead. Unfortunately, rumors of more names Stone Cold Heart have made spreading have been spreading around my court. It makes me wonder if he will manage to retain my vassal support once I'm gone. Attempt to rectify him. Talk up his good qualities instead. We can let's try to have him overcome his flaws. How's the religion situation? You know? Don't know. <laughs> Four names has agreed to let me mentor him, even though his enthusiasm is somewhat lacking. I fear his vices are deeply set, but a true eye-opening experience might make him realize the folly of his ways. What should we do? He's callous, wrathful, and vengeful. <laughs> you are not very diplomatic, are you? <laughs> Ugh. And he's a, he had a, a diplomacy education. Of course he did. Let's forgive someone because he's vengeful. 
Forgiving someone is hard if they're vengeful. Hey, Eigen Theory. You can filter your dynasty in the character search. Makes it easier to find dynasty members with specific traits in religion. Yeah, but I still don't know how to figure out who's a witch and who's not. Unless I just went down the menu and just converted it one by one. It's frustrating to observe Mornay struggling to show true forgiveness. I doubt he was even trying. I'm almost certain the fault was with Mornay's level of enthusiasm rather than my lesson. I will give him one more chance. The question is, should we try a new tactic? Or will persistence win out this day? Callous, wrathful, and vengeful. Why is he our heir again? <laughs> uh, let's venture into the streets and talk to the poor because he's callous. Uh, we're, we're getting very close with England. We're getting there. More names and his unending grudges are driving me mad. Despite my best efforts, he's made no progress. If his heart is not set on change, it will never happen. Get another duchy. Yeah, hold on. Maybe there is a different way to do this. So we could say... Alright, mistype. House Chonkia. We could just go down the line like this. Hi, Silent Pancake! Yeah, Saturday is my five year stream anniversary day. Okay, so what do we have to snag still for England? Just a little bit right here, I think? No, we don't. Okay, so we, we can actually just... I'm, in I'm being invited to a feast. Nobody's invited me to a feast. Wow, this whole game. I forgot that they can even invite me. <laughs> Let's get Wessex. Declare war for your entire duchy. Wait, Famine was murdered. I listened intently as Aethelrith... To Aethelrith as she carefully reveals all manners of things. Distracted by trying to get one last drop from her tankard, she is oblivious to how carefully I am paying attention. Once she realizes, she starts getting up. I'm only rambling. It's not true. Any of it. Oh! You're a witch too! Cool. She, she just told me that she's a witch. <laughs> I guess that person's not a witch either. I don't know who's a witch anymore. Let's educate them with a guardian who's a witch. <laughs> and find them a spouse while we're at it. Witchcraft, yes. Perfect. <laughs> Seems good to me. All right. This little one is going to be called Radafel. What's my plan for the campaign? I'm trying to conquer England so I can form the High Kingdom of the, <laughs> the North Seas. <laughs> she's not part of my house, but she's a witch. The feast is dwindling down, and I find myself deep in conversation with my unsettled acquaintance, acquaintance Aeth... 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 Rith. She inquires about my opinion on lawmaking, a subject. 
She is deeply interested in herself. Let's make a friend! I made a friend at this feast! Hello, Lang! How's it going? Hello! Alright! I lost 26 stress, and he gained 15 opinion of me. Friends! I did convert plenty of people not from my house. Oh yeah, because I thought it was a dynasty, not a house thing. Not swaying anybody right now, but let's just pick that up. 56? I don't know if the witches are going to happen. Oh, plus one max schemes. Yeah, that would be good. I need a military engineer. Perfect! Dynasty is coming along super well. There's too many people. I'm at 50%. I am? No, I'm at 36%. <laughs> My brother Goswin died. Died from complications due to inbreeding. I gained 51 stress. That's how old he was! Uh oh. I'm about to hit stress level 1. So we probably want to... host a feast. Welcome, friends! I'm feasting to reduce my stress level. It was really close. I, I almost had a critical level stress from that. <laughs> that was a short feast! The feast is dwindling down and I find myself deep in conversation with my dull vassal, Earl Sigurik. He inquires about my opinions on court politics. The subject is deeply interested in himself. Sure, I mean, we'll make another friend. Play a campaign of your own. You united pagan Finland, and now you're in the process of conquering Scandinavia. Nice. Ooh, reinvigorating friendship gave me a huge health boost. Nice job, Earl. And I lost 52 stress. Perfect! You made good friends with Earl. Hi, Fuzzatron! Your current sultan is diligent and ambitious and an entire life has been about trying not to die of stress. Ooh, you know what else? Another trait that really stinks is greedy. Oh my gosh. I love bribing people into liking me. <laughs> So, that's really nice about a diplomacy... The, uh, the diplomacy lifestyle. Because you can... You can get extra... Uh, what's it called? Ooh, I can use the befriend scheme. Where is that? Each of your friends give you plus two random skill points? What? Ah. Thoughtful. Opinion gain from sent gift 100%. So I can just like throw money at people and they like me so much. But if you're greedy, they hate that. You can't, you literally just like can't play a greedy character and play diplomacy too. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could, but it'd be really difficult. Thanks, wifey. I'm an eager reveler again. Oh, shy is pretty bad too. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, friends seem OP until they all start dying. It's so true. Aw, you told me now the raid's already over. Stench of success. The smell is completely unbearable. It's been a solid month since Ella Hunden brought down the blasted boar while hunting and she's still carrying its maggot-ridden head around with her. Everyone in Ithiras is sick of it, but she refuses to be rid of the darn thing. The rest of the court has finally had enough, it seems, and forced her to come to me for a verdict. <laughs> oh, 
Federal opinion minus 50 from a reeking trophy. We can say it's nice, Sella Hunden, so very nice. And everyone will hate it. We can rage out. Steal the trophy or break it or something. Lose a ton of stress due to being under Berserker. But she will very much so dislike it. We can yell at her. That does increase every courtier and guest opinion. Or we can just go for the prestige. Let's go let's go prestige. Yeah, see I shouldn't have wasted my time because she's about to she's about to die. Honestly, I thought she was already a witch, or I probably shouldn't have tried. <laughs> okay, new novice. Woohoo! Yes, this is a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I like this so much better than trying to do trying to dig through the tree. <laughs> yes, clearly Rawr was a superior choice. I just didn't want to form a rivalry. <sighs> this is the third time I've been blackmailed. For being a witch. He's already on my council, though, so there's not too much he can do. Did I sort them by not having a hook? So, no, what I did was I... I went again. So what I did... was I... And just search by my house, and then arrange them by age from high to low. And then I'm just going down the line. Okay, so I got another property. I'm gonna grant it to an invented local. Who I will then bribe. Look at that, 154 opinion. What's our acceptance at right now, culturally? 16%. Needs to be 40% to be able to merge. Uh, Wrath of Shutter, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. It's five o'clock. <laughs> I don't want to re- I don't want to reform the faith yet. It'll invalidate the achievement. I'm currently working on this as well. So I'm doing witches in the background and also securing the kingdom of the High North Sea. So I need to be the Deja... Siege of England for 30 years. So I'm trying to make the Kingdom of England. <laughs> I don't have too much more to go. I've got here and here. I think. And this and this and that. I don't know that I can... This is a whole kingdom itself. I can't do it. First off, I don't have enough prestige, and also I'm not... I don't have a high enough title, so I will have to take that piece by piece. But we could instead go up here. We could declare war for this duchy, the Duchy of Lancaster. I Arthur Fo Fox... Ache.
I'm just trying to get through as, as much of this playthrough as I can today. I actually should have checked their strength. Ah, oh, we got it. Yeah, I am focusing on duchies, so let's grab this one, we'll grab that, we'll grab that. I'm just gonna play CK3 until I physically can't anymore. Kinda. Oh, we're good. Let's go siege that. Yeah, England has been annoying. <laughs> it is. It has been hard to consolidate. I think my vassals actually went and picked up this little piece of land that I needed over here. Thankfully, there was just a little teeny tiny piece that I did not have control over. Yep. Oh wait, that wasn't part of it. Hold on a second! What's this I see? My vassals did silly things. Close minded, closed hearts. My counselor died under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> yeah, well, I have to take it back, right? <laughs> I wonder if I could. They're at war. They also won't accept to be a vassal, but I might be able to vassalize them. Especially if I send them, you know, a small gift. Let me just help you with your war. In 210 opinion. Pretty epic, if you ask me. That is not something I can siege. Whoops. So that was... Okay, Sela Hunden's already a witch. Okay, let's try the High Chiefess. Do we have any epics yet? Uh, I don't think so. I do not think so. Look, they're sieging me over here. Yeah, I, I don't- I don't actually... I conceded my imprisonment re reason. I am claiming what I am owed. I expect you to publicly concede your rights to punish me and grant me forgiveness for my crimes. Does this guy have a hook on me? He probably had a hook on me. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually have the, f the finish unit. Okay. Sign this child a guardian, shall we? And also a spouse while we're at it. I just really want to get England tonight, okay? I just really want it to happen. They're related. They're always related. And then I just need a name. Good thing I have endless names in the queue. Yeah, I'm not picking that name. Sorry, Alistair. <laughs> names are for jumps. Courtesy of Metal Witcher. The name was Murderer, but <laughs> I'm tired of all my kids getting these like really obscene names. <laughs> a lot. I mean, it's, it's not really an obscene name, but it's just... negative. <laughs> I 
Hey, you can you can add a name to the queue. I just I don't know how many more names we're gonna get through today because I can't stream for too much longer. But it, the instructions to join the queue are here. Islander Siege. Should probably read these things. I'm just getting to the point in my day where I'm like, must take England. I care not for diplomacy. A new lifestyle perk. So what was the... Monthly prestige per powerful vassal on the council. That's actually super useful for me. Ooh, forced vassalage. Oh, let's see if we can grab that. That would be very useful. Adaptive tradition is plus one scheme. Ugh, right. Only to learn a language. Not to actually have... There used to be a perk for two schemes, like two personal schemes, wasn't there? Oh, we don't want Hoder to be crazy. Craven, I mean. <laughs> My grandson and ward. Yeah, I've decided that my traits suck. There is one for too hostile, but not for too personal. Having too personal would be really nice. Oh, it's a dynasty perk. Yeah, I would believe that. I would believe that. They have two prisoners that can be ransomed. And yes, it is worthwhile to ransom prisoners. <laughs> Just, I haven't done it. None of them are worth war score. <gasps> Somebody worth war score? Yeah, oh no! Your air. I think I just let their air go. Shoot. I didn't. Woo! Yeah, I just have. Fine, letting people out of prison kind of. Obnoxious, actually. <laughs> Unless they give me money, chances are they're not worth it. Like, this person, unless I want to lose dread, I have no choice but to recruit them. So that's why I just leave them in my prison. They're my rival, anyway. And... S Max Way Scheme says it. Top of glory. There's a button on the bottom, but I don't... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone's plotting to kill my kinsman. No! All right. Witches, 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 witches. Yeah! A new novice. I can challenge somebody for an artifact. That's interesting. Okay, we found the schemer. So in this case, uh, two agents joined the scheme to help convert High Chief and Freyr. Witchcraft. Orderly Grey was inducted. He came of age. We're at 39%. We just might do it this time. We just might do it after all. Someone is trying to murder someone and it shows in the scheme tab. Is the person on the right the person being murdered or the person plotting? Like in the very bottom? I think the person in the very, very bottom is the person being murdered. Can we forge a claim on an artifact? I imagine we probably could, yeah. I don't know for certain. I've never tried. 
But you can form forge a claim on other things too, so I could see it being a possibility. Hello, big army. <laughs> Hi. Yep. You'll probably lose. We'll see what happens. I think we might win. Unless we run out of soldiers. It looks like we are just... It's close. Eep. Oh my gosh! Oh! That was a close one. <laughs> we almost sensed her. They have some cool armor on. Yeah, I got I got kind of spooked by that myself. <laughs> and they took this. Grr. Okay, let me move my rally point here. That's not my land. Let's move it here. I'm gonna send my army back up here and raise. I just want to raise like some. I don't want to raise all, <laughs> just a few. I want to raise more than 500. I guess I. And raise a local army and then move the rally point like this. And raise a local army and then move the rally point. Raise a local army? Oh, there's no one to raise. Twenty levies, two hundred twenty-four. Here we go. I don't know. It's still kind of spooky. <laughs> How did I get it to five star? This is pretty much just an army made of champions and men at arms. I don't have any levies. It's what I'm actually adding to my army right now. I'm just reinforcing it with some local levies. So we're not just champions and men at arms. So I get more of a numbers advantage. So like, when you have this option here, raise all men-at-arms. So that raises just the men-at-arms and your, and your champions. You can raise locals without rally point. I think you do have to have a rally point. Yeah, you do. Rally point to raise the local army. Yeah, so I, I think you do have to have the rally point. Do, 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 do. All right. Dang, he didn't join us. Closed minded, closed heart. Pretty sure Outbred's already a witch. Pretty sure. Well, he's probably not. Okay, they're coming back for round three. Kind of spooky, but I think we'll be all right.
Oh, our champion, another son was slain. Oh, another son was really nice. Just kidding. I thought he was. Yeah, so I, I, I think you do need to have a rally point in order to raise the locals. Otherwise, you don't have the option to raise something. Oh, speaking of, I haven't updated anything <laughs> at all recently. I don't know what just made me think of this. Wherever I go, my champion Reebma is sure to follow. That look in his eyes, the word on his lips, I know exactly what he's after. My brother-in-law and champion. Well, he's trying to seduce me. I'm just kind of worried that if this got out, like, this would be bad news for me. How do I have the little window of all my domains? This right here? This is just the outliner that you can toggle. You know what? You only live once. We're gonna keep him close. Very close. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> A shiver of anticipation finds its way up my spine as a knock resounds through the stillness of my chambers. Could it be him? I am greeted by Reebma, smiling confidently, lust plain on his face at last. As his arms envelop me, the fire in my chest bursts into flames, and the rest of the night is spent in a warm and fiery haze. Nice! He's my lover now. I'm pretty sure somebody already knows my... my secret about being gay. You're struggling to find your domains. Yeah, this, the outliner is really, really nice. Love wins. Yeah, you know? We're this nice tender age of 60. Like, sometimes you, have to, you just have to follow your heart's desires. If we get blackmail for it, we get blackmail for it. All right. I win again! So I have one, two, three... Many more duchies to go. This one, this one... Is this, this entire thing a duchy that I can go after? Yeah. And then lastly, I'll work on Hoist. We're the king, we make the laws. <laughs> Where did all my prestige go? Alright. Forgot about the mass actions. Ransom up to two prisoners. But if I hit this, don't I lose my... Don't I lose dread from doing this? Alright, someone else needs to be educated to be a witch. Yeah, that's why I find it tedious to release people. And then also a spouse. I think I've spent half the stream today dealing with children being born. <laughs> like, actually. I will lose the dread. Right. You are now the milkman's child for some reason. And they're betrothed. Yeah, it is it is getting a little bit <laughs> ridiculous. I have uh, so many prisoners. So like this person, I will demand their conversion and recruit them because they'll make an okay soldier. This prisoner has a disputed heritage. I can try ransoming her. But I'll only get a weak hook, whatever. <laughs> Whatevs. Ah! I'll recruit him. Gain a weak hook. 
this button. Oh, exclude from mass sections. Okay, you can just stay there then. <laughs> just stay in the dungeon forever. See, don't see them as children. See them as witches. Our future... witches. Ah, a conquest runestone. The boy's not letting me put it over here in England. These are all back home. Bum, bum, bum. All right, where are we at with the witch thing? 38.46. The decimals are... We're down to two decimal places now, so you know how many people we have. <laughs> Loads! A new novice. A hidden ally. Ah! Look at that, a hidden ally came to me! To try to convert me? Well, okay, so that was two witches we just found out, and it went up to 40.5. We're getting like 1%. Her character. I should have paid attention to whose name that was. We have a new perk available. Thought I was gonna try to go for Force Vassalage because I wanted to see if I could do that over here. Oh, this is part of Norway again. Okay. A friend of mine died. So, like... Force vassalage! It's not... Nope. Can't do it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Calderash. I did gain a lot of stress. I did gain a lot of stress for it. We are so close to having the whole kingdom of England. Uh, wait a second. I don't have to have the entire thing. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yeah, I have to go to war. Mm. Wait, this is what I'm trying to do. I can just create the title. I actually just got enough counties, but we can just make the title. Then we just have to hold it. I was watching Hodor play with the other children. It'd be fickle. He does have a diplomacy focus, so that might be okay. Yeah, be fickle. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking I had to have the entire thing, but I don't have to. I can just create the title, which will be created on my death anyway. Kingdom of England. Wait, more names is my actual player error? Oh, heck yeah. Wait. <gasps> More names is my heir. And then he's my heir for these two elections so I could make the kingdom and more names will inherit all three. <sighs> okay. Ah, I'm now the king of England because I say so. <laughs> Yay. I still don't fully control all this land, though. But, now I can... ...send you a gift, and then offer you vassalage. With low feudal obligations... We are a different faith. Cultural acceptance is too low. <laughs> well, we could try Cornwall. Not accept, even with low feudal obligation. They still will not accept. 
Because of my different faith. They really don't like that. <laughs> they can't just make it easy on me, can they? And a gift? Ma Ooh! You still won't accept. Minus seven. <laughs> Peace glow gun, it's quite an impressive North Sea Empire. Thank you! I don't think I'm gonna make the North Sea Empire this lifetime because I can't I can't live to be 91. We have to hold all three kingdoms 30 years but i do have them now i completely control the region of the north sea heartlands yeah ski vassals yeah i am working on cultural acceptance i guess i could like move my counselor somewhere else Doesn't really matter where we assign them, right? Just as long as they are, like, working on this? Counselor's culture plus 0 0.03? Oh, she is Anglo-Saxon. If I assign somebody who is... Norwegian? We're, we're Norwegian now. Emilio Kinslayer. I did, I did have a ruler once that did live to be like a hundred and something. Yeah, it's a long and time intensive job. So we are up to... Ah, just clicking all around. 20% acceptance. We just need to be at 40. <laughs> also, I lost control of... I lost control as culture head for like five years. And the person who was in charge diverged the culture from Norse to Norwegian, making the culture young. And it reset my points. Plus, I think if you're Norse, you only have to have 20% acceptance. So that kind of sucked. It was Bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah, be because we're Norwegian now, we need to have 40. And the culture is young, so... I have to wait till it's at least 50 years. <laughs> that was kind of a bummer. Should have put that guy in my jail. Yeah, Bloody Mary lived forever. Forever. We could have merged up north with a different culture. <laughs> we could have done it. Okay, well, I didn't make my kingdom of England. Who lived forever? I had a ruler once called Queen Bloody Mary. <laughs> she was a witch. She lived forever. The sad part is if we had been Norse instead of Saxon, we could have been like, nah, Norway sounds lame. <laughs> so we're up to 40%. We're, we're back in it. So... We're very close to achieving my goal to start a coven. And we're also very close to starting my goal, or finishing my goal of founding the Kingdom of the High North Seas. High Kingdom of the North Sea. But I can't do it today, and I have to stop streaming now. I cannot keep streaming.